welcome in everyone welcome to butterfly dreams crochet and more my name is Jeannie. if you didn't know that's my name <laughs> welcome 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 everyone so glad you are here tonight today is monday may the 8th <sighs> we're halfway through this year already y'all wow where is time going it's going fast I'm set up ready for y'all tonight. Hey, Miss Margie, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. She says, hi, everyone. And Miss Margie, I got you wrote down. And since we're doing a craft tonight, I will write y'all's names down. And when I need to take a break, then I will play and we'll, uh, we'll dance and everything for y'all, okay? Uh, she says she's currently making more paper beads. I know, I've seen Angie making those. Oh, my gosh. I said, nope, I don't need to go down that rabbit hole either. Hey, my sweet friend, Jen Jen, welcome in. Hey, Shatika, welcome in. She says, good afternoon and crocheting, y'all. Sunita says, hi, y'all. Just got home, getting a bite to eat before I conquer. Part one of Wishing on Dandelions and Glacier. Working on that shawl, aren't you? Hey, sweet Rodnell, welcome in. She says, hi, Jeannie and everyone in the chat. Miss Vicky, welcome in. Hello, everyone in the chat. Hey, Michelle, you aka Yarny Disaster, welcome in. And Michelle did put on YouTube that she's been... oh, 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 oh. mute me. She's been a member for seven months. Thank you so much, Michelle. I really do appreciate it. And Christine, aloha. Hugs to you, sis Jeannie and chat. Hugs back to you, Christine. And Bree says, Hey, sis Jeannie, and all in the chat. Welcome in, Bree. Welcome in, Miss Diane. And she says, I am ready. Chris's kaleidoscope. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in, Miss Linda Anderson. Welcome, welcome. If you're new here, please let me know. And let us know where you're from and what kind of craft do you do. Welcome in, Cecilia. She says, Hi, everyone. Welcome in, Pam with Wicked Granny. She says, hi, Jeannie. Welcome in. I, we are live. Hey, Maribel. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. She says, hi, Jeannie and everyone. Wicked Granny says, hi, Margie, Jen, Shatika, Sunita, Ronell, Vicky, Michelle, and Christine. <laughs> and Bria is speaking to everyone. She says, hey, y'all. Hey. You like my shirt? This come from uh, America's, I think it's America's Thrift Store. It was brand new, and I paid $2 for it. Hey, Miss Nancy, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. It's from what woman with Women Within or Woman Within. Hey, Miss Diane, welcome in. She said, we'll be working and listening tonight. Well, welcome, welcome. Work away. And Michelle says, hey, Wicked Granny. Hey, Melissa with Crochet and Agreement. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Ms. Diane says hello to everyone in the chat. We, uh, Ms. Pound says hi, Bree, Diane, Linda, Cecilia, Maribel, and Nancy. One good way to get them all out the way, ain't it? <laughs> Bree says, hey, I'm ready. Welcome in, Christina. Welcome, welcome. And Terry Anderson says hi from Texas. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Told my husband we might as well move to Texas as much as he stays in Texas on the road. And Pam is speaking to Christine and Diane. Hello, fe fellow Texan Terry. Hey, Deanna Crochet Burrow, welcome in. Hey, Sis Chandra, welcome in. Hey, Crystal Divergent Crafter, welcome in. Hey, Mama J. Way, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Ms. Vicky said, that's the prices I like at the thrift store. Yeah, and these capris I got on, I got from there as well. And they, they too, y'all can't see them, but they go right below my knee. Um, They were like $2, too. <clears throat> hey, Miss Wanda, you're in Indiana, headed to Wisconsin, still driving for another hour. Well, be safe out there on them highways, Miss Wanda. Well, y'all got everything ready to go. We'll go over. We're going to dance for Miss Margie right quick. And then I will go over everything that you're going to need 
in case you're just now getting your stuff together. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Margie. Where are my bubbles? There they go. There they go. Oh, I put Sandy's bed in here because she sometimes likes coming here and lay. So I'm in Indiana, Deanna Crochet Burrow says. Hey Renee with Natural Nay 61. Welcome in. Now, y'all, I created StreamYard is supposedly working on getting. Oh, that's not how I want it, though. Hold on. Let me go back. Now, let me switch over. Y'all see me down in the very little corner? <laughs> that's all you're going to see of me. I could create a custom layout. So. And StreamYard is working on um, the membership thing to where it will show up in uh, StreamYard, supposedly. So, okay. So, we got a few more people that's came in. Hello, Maritza. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in, Miss Margaret G. Welcome in, Kate. Welcome in, Beach Girl. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. You just gonna be lurking tonight, honey. That is fine. But if you are going to make this pin cushion that you see here, you are going to need some type of plastic cup. And I did not, I forgot to bring a specimen cup from the office. You have the stuff of letting your fingers rest a few days. That's fine, Miss Vicky, because mine's been bothering me. Um You'll need a cup. Now, what I use is this cup from the liquid laundry detergent. This one was dirty, and I just washed it. You will need a piece of cardboard. Now, I have this. This is cardboard. It's very, very stiff. This one was not so stiff. So, I cut a piece of plastic canvas and put over the top of it with hot glue. Because if you use just plastic canvas, then your needles have a, will have a, will be able to go through the holes of the plastic canvas down into your storage compartment of it. And I measured it based on this top, the top part of it, not the bottom, because the bottom is a little bit smaller. And we're going to cover this top part with our crochet cushion that we're going to make hey sweet sis brenda welcome in welcome welcome perfect timing she says sending all a virtual hug now i'm gonna switch back over for a second because i want us to do something right quick hey miguel welcome in hey me my d crochet don't pee Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I love your channel name. Me, Ma D Crochets. Don P is in the house. Hey, Miguel. I enjoyed listening to your um, calling y'all up thing today. I really did. But before we get started on the crowd, I want us, we have one of our very own sisters in the hospital. And she is sick, 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 sick. And I would just like for us to take a few seconds of silence. And we lift her up in prayer. And that is our very own Ivy B Creates. So let's just take a moment of silence and let's lift her up in prayer. Okay. I 
Oh, thank you, Miguel. I will. I heard you say you saw one that was on the window and then the other one was on the hood and you were going to try to do a little short for it. Yes, y'all, please, please, let's keep Ivy uplifted in prayer. Um, She knows if she needs anything, I'm just an hour away. So let's please, 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 let's keep her uplifted in prayer. And if I find out anything that she needs, I will let all of y'all know. Because I know as a community, we're going to rally together and we're going to lift those prayers up to the gates. And we're going to get her body healed of any ailment that is causing her to be sick. And she's going to get back home and get back to doing what she loves. And we're going to have to fuss at her when she gets home and tell her. No more days of staying awake. <laughs> Get your rest. <laughs> but if you don't have the thick cardboard, the little thin cardboard will work. But I like it to be a little thick. So, um, you can cut a piece of plastic canvas and just hot glue it to it, the thin piece. But this cardboard here is super, super thick. So I did cut another round piece with it. I fell cutting in kindergarten, y'all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, Bonnie got knits and more. Yes, if she needs anything, I am just an hour away from her. I'm trying to wait until she... Well, I don't know if she can have visitors or not, but if she can, I'm going to go see her. <clears throat> Thank you to everyone that has left her messages on my community tab and those that reached out to her through social media. Hugs to everyone. Yes. Miss Nancy, we are fixing to make this pin cushion. So what you're going to need is some, I'm using cotton yarn. And I'm going to use the Crafter Secret. I'm going to bring my camera down lower. And this is in the color Spring Stripe. I'm going to use a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to make a cover for this. You'll need a button. This is housed in three tape measures. <clears throat> this is inside of the basket. I put a button on the outside. And then I made the top part and stuffed it with polyfill. And I used this little loop here to close it. And it becomes a pin cushion on the top and a storage container on the bottom. So. <clears throat> and you'll need a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. Now I'm not going to, you're not going to need a stitch marker. Because the way we're going to do it is the way John Boy did his. You'll use a mason jar lid, yes. Or if you have an orange, a orange um, lid or something like that. Anything that's round. Anything you've got that is round. Hey, Rebecca. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Angela Wright. Welcome in. I am, Mama J. I'm using a document camera, but this is a 4K one. This is a 4K document camera. Yep. Am I clear? Hey, oodles and caboodles across Vicky. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in. A stitch in time by Lisa. Welcome in. Hey, yarn lover Regina. Welcome in. Well, if you don't have a cup and you got some square, um, you have some square shaped plastic canvas, you can cut a strip. And I don't have, I don't know where mine is. I know I have some unless I used it all. But what I'm talking about that you can do on that part is like, 
I did for the um, you can use it for pins or needles hooks or whatever You would take a strip of plastic canvas and cut it the width of your jar, like so. The width of your, of your, um, it does. And it, it has a, yeah, it zooms in and out. But you would take a piece of plastic canvas and cut it the height of your little basket and then you would cut it and just wrap it around and stick it in there and let it go like I did here I just stuck it in there and I have a piece of plastic canvas down in the bottom of it as well I cut into a circle and then you just took the sides down now we won't be making sides on this one and that and it's it's got a little bit of stiffness to it where it'll sit up without falling over or your crochet um falling in and collapsing so it makes it sturdy maritza here you type the word neighbor So that's what I had in that cup was three tape measures. But the one I'm making, I'm planning on using it in my sewing machine area. And I'm going to have like my needle threader, my thimbles, and stuff like that inside of it. So, and for us to get started, y'all think that's close enough right there? Or too close? And am I clear? And can y'all hear? Now, I know we have some that can't do the magic circle. So, if you can't do the magic circle, start out with a chain of four and join with a slip stitch to the first one. And you're going to put six single crochets into that very, into that ring. So, if you do a magic circle, we're going to make our magic circle. Now, I chain one, but then I move it back and forth to make it tight and then I chain one again and I'm going to put six single crochets right into that ring two three see I'm I'm, I'm doing <laughs> I made John boys beanie <laughs> one two three four and he did the the pullover instead of the under method and that's what's got my finger hurting one two three four five six once you have your six single crochets you're going to pull your ring together now i'm gonna do my join method like he did because you don't get no you don't see hardly no seam <clears throat> hey steve welcome in hey miss gloria welcome in hey aisha aisha i think i spoke to you but anyway i'm speaking again honey welcome in aisha <clears throat> Hey, Karen, KCraft49, we're just getting started if you're going to be making it. You want to start with a magic ring or a chain four, join with a slip stitch and put in six single crochets. Now we're going to join to that very first. And see, this always gets me because I'm a tight crocheter. And join with a slip stitch. We're going to chain one. And we're going to go right back in that stitch and work a single crochet. Now, y'all do knife hold to if this thing gets so big. I got Miss Margie wrote down. And then in the next stitch, we're going to work two single crochets. 
So we're going to be increasing every row. And at the end of this row, we will have 12 single crochets. Now, I know I only put one in that one, but we're going to put the other one at the end, and I'll show y'all. See, you learn stuff by watching other people. Now, if this is a trick that he learned on his own, I don't know. But I learned it from him. I'm going to put two right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, if you count, you only got eleven. Because we only did one here. But we're going to put one right here. And we're going to slip stitch to that single first single crochet that we made that chain one basically is working as a filler so that's round two Jen you do that too and then we're going to chain one go right back into that very first single crochet and work one single we're going to go into the next stitch and work one single do I need to let y'all get caught up or y'all okay? Because I can take me a drink of water. Let me take that comment off. Oh, Lord. I don't know why my Oh, there we go. I was wondering why it wasn't all showing up, but I see it now. I'm afraid it's already too late, Regina. I'm good. Jen, what you lost your head about, honey? <clears throat> now, Jen, she did ask me if I wanted her to keep up with mine, but I told her no. I was I was gonna do my own wheel, but because we're crafting tonight, I'm just gonna write their names down. And um, then I'll add them to the wheel. All right. So in the next stitch, we're going to work two single crochets. So for round three, it's going to be two singles in one stitch. One single into the next stitch. Two singles into the next stitch one single in the next and that'll be the repeat all the way around and i do like that new beanie john boy created is he made it with the sedge stitch it's real easy other than them doggone single crochets he's done started using the ones that they recommend you use in um amigurumi because it makes tighter it's actually called the cross stitch single crochet is what it's called <clears throat> and then we're going to do two and one now, when you get to the end because of the way we're doing it, you still have that one stitch left, and we just did one stitch. But instead of working two, we're only going to work one, and that's going to give us our 18th stitch. And then we'll join to the top of that very first single crochet, skipping completely over that chain one. 
and it almost makes it seamless. Then we'll chain one. And for round four, we'll go back into that first single crochet. Work one single. And remember, that's the start of our increase right there. So we don't start counting our single crochets to the next stitch. So we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to work two singles into the next stitch. So for this round, we're working two single crochets in one stitch. One single crochet into the next two stitches. And that'll be our repeat. Then two in the same stitch, and then one in the next two stitches, and then two, one, and two, and then one. And one. And when I do it to keep up with my count, I usually go two, three, four. Two, three, four. <laughs> That's how I keep up with it. So one and two. Then one in the next two. Two. And then it looks like we have three stitches left. So we're actually going to work one in the front next stitch, one in the next stitch, and we're going to make our extra double one right here in the next stitch. And then join with that first single. And we're going to keep increasing like you normally increase in the round. I don't know if we got any new crocheters here or not. And we're just going to keep working in the round until it gets to the width of our cup or whatever we're using and then we'll work in the back loop to bring it up over <clears throat> so on this next one we're going to chain one which is row round five and work a single and then we're going to work one single in the next three. And then in the fourth one, it'll be two singles. So one, two, three, and then two singles. And that'll be your repeat all the way around. And then one, two, three and then two singles and I would normally go one two three four five <laughs> Regina says 33 thumbs and 54 here and Steve says everyone please remember to give a thumbs up if you haven't already today thanks and if you hit the thumbs down make sure to hit it twice please it only counts if you hit it two times, not once. <laughs> Sunita says she part-time. <laughs> yeah, she did ask me if she wanted me to wanted if I wanted her to keep up with them and I told her no I was good <clears throat> all right so now three one two and three and then we'll do one two
And it's going to start looking like a little octagon. One, two, three. And then there's that little extra stitch, and we're going to work our last single in it and join. And see how it's starting to take a little octagon shape. I'm going to let everybody get caught up to row five. What did I do with it? Oh, darn, I ripped it out. <laughs> I had made a flower today. And I ripped it out, but I made a, another piece of one. And I wanted to ask y'all what y'all thought about it. I'm thinking about doing it into a crossbody bag. Now, this would eventually become a square. What y'all think? I was doing the mustard. Well, this is actually called sun gold. And this is called... Um, What is it called? Aaron. And then the rest of it would be in black. And I would line it with black. What y'all think about that? This is called a water lily. <clears throat> well, I, I normally, after so many rounds, Jen, I go... I do a single crochet row around and then start back with the increases. That helps out too. But it'll, it'll all. One, two, three, four, five, row six. We're going to work one. And now we're going to work one single crochet in the next four. Two. Three and four, and then we're gonna work two, one, and two. So that'll be the repeat for round six. Four singles, and then two singles. So one, two, three, four. And then two, one and two, then one, two. Y'all are mosquitoes bad where y'all are. You can't keep up with the stitch count, Regina. What row are you on? It just increased it like the you do two in the first in the second round. Then you do two singles in one stitch, one single in the next, two. And then the next round, you do two in one stitch and then two singles. Hey, Granny D. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. The most lovable, huggable, and adorable Granny we know and love. Three. Now on this one, two, three, four, five, six, on round seven, I'm just going to do a single crochet row around. But we're still not done increasing.
Hey, Kimberly, welcome in. If I didn't welcome you in, welcome, welcome. And anyone else that I may have missed, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I I cannot go to the mailbox without getting bit. That little red spot right there, that's a mosquito bite on my thumb. I got them all over my hand. One there, all on my arms, all on my feet. <coughs> Breathe. <coughs> Bree said, you mean that daily dose of our pet venom, our huge skeeters? Yes. My husband calls them low-flying aircrafts. That's what they sound like bzz, right in your face and stuff. And I got three, three new kittens that... The mama has weaned, and I'm having to feed them. And I'm having to feed them soft food, so I have to stay out there with them to make sure that the bigger cats don't eat up their food. Because their their teeth aren't quite strong enough for the hard food. And I'm soaking it in water and making it soft, plus I bought the canned food for them. But, Hey, my sweet Elizabeth, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. She says, listening while doing chores at home. Uh, Bri, I, I get about 10 in like five seconds. And I bought those bracelets. They don't work. Let me tell you why. I put one on each ankle, one on each wrist, and that came five in a pack. My husband said, well, dang, you got two on your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Two on your wrist. Won't you put one around your neck? So I did. Them things still tore me up. Well, Miss Vega, they must think I have red on every day. <laughs> because they attack me like crazy. Feed those kittens goat milk once a day. And Grandy, I don't know what's in my blood that they love so much. I'm going to have to try it, Jen. Um, Hubby says the only thing that works is a thermal cell. I seen some kind of mosquito thing somewhere we was at. Um... And I started to buy it. The thing was $30. And then I would have got mad if it hadn't worked. They love type O blood. Well, I must be type O. So for round seven, I'm just going to do a single crochet row around. To kind of make it more round. <clears throat> We shouldn't have too many more rows before we start building up. This is just done by whatever bottom you're using for your storage and based on the diameter of it, how many rounds of the single crochets that you do. <clears throat> It's going to help round it out better. And I'll tell you how many stitches we'll have at the end of row seven, round seven. And we'll probably do one more increase row. I really like working with this yarn. The Crafter Secret Cotton from Hobby Lobby. To me, is better than the Lily Sugar and Cream. 6, 8, 10, 12. 
we're going to have 36 stitches Thirty-six, and then you'll just join with a slip stitch to your first single crochet. I'm gonna place mine on there. I'm gonna do one more increase row because I don't want it to be tight, tight. Hey, thank you, Pooh. Hey, Nana Michelle. Hey, Sheila. Take a pause. Okay. <clears throat> so, round one, we did six single crochets. Row round two, we did two singles in every single. So, you'll have 12. Then, round three, we did two singles, one single. Two singles, one single. You will have 18. Then round four, we did two singles, one single, one single, and you will have 24 at the end of round four. Round five, we did two singles, and then one single in the next three, then three, and then two singles. You will have 30 at the end of round five. Round six, we did two singles. And then one single in the next four. And then two singles all the way around. You'll have 36 at the end of round six. For round seven, we just did a simple single crochet row all the way around. And you will still have 36 stitches. And let me know when y'all ready to move on to the next increase row. Now, this one, I did the single crochet V-stitch. <clears throat> hey, Lydia, welcome in. Hey, Lori, welcome in. She said, just listening mostly night, joining my May Squares for my YFS May installment on the Scrappy Calendar Blanket. Yes, Lori, and that thing is coming out nice. Well, Melissa done did create a new colorway. She said, hello there, Granny D. I've got your brown and purple yarns cooking now, and I can't wait to see how they look. I'll send you some pics. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. Nana Michelle says, hey, I will be in and out of the chat. Olivia needs a shower and wants some Raymond with soy sauce. Exactly, Jen. We don't we can't stay positive when the mosquitoes come out. And sis Shonda says, try the VIX because that'll keep the mosquitoes away. I can't remember what blood type I am. And they don't hardly bite my husband either. I told him that guy, he bitter. <laughs> He's a bitter old man. Ms. Margie has reached 870 family members in 2,229 watch hours. And another one who has also reached a milestone is Miguel. When I watched him this morning, he was at 938. He needs 62 more to reach 1,000. Ooh, great nuts. That's right. 
the squirrel and grape nuts the colorway. There you go. Grape nuts. That is perfect. Miss Margaret says, I may be positive and those mosquitoes like her blood. Oh, we just sweet. That's all it is to it, huh? And congratulations, Miss Margie. Congratulations, Miguel. Yeah, I will be there before you know it. So Miss Margie needs about 130. Oh, and Bree reached 300 subs. And if it sticks, then I'll do a small giveaway. So if y'all are not, Bree, drop the word neighbor. And if you have not joined her family, please do so. Juanita, welcome in. She spins. She said they love diabetic blood even more. So if you are pre-diabetic, you are you are an appetizer. Well, as I'm not. My husband is diabetic, but they don't hardly ever buy him. Yes, yeah, sparkle always makes things better. See, one on my one on my ankle is itching now. Hey, Miss Deborah, welcome in. She says hello, all listening and lurking. Well, work, lurk and work away, honey. Grandy says yo glow. <laughs> Nancy McDonald said I was breeze three hundred one. Well, let's get her a little bit over that three. Somebody said, just like bacon. <laughs> Miss Deborah, how are you and Jasmine? Miss Vicky, that they know when I open my door. They all at the door waiting on me. Here she comes, y'all. Here she comes. <laughs> I tell you. <clears throat> and Beach Girl says, Juanita, looks like the festival was a good time. I saw you on Barbara's vlog this morning. Bree, we good to move on? Hey, bestie, welcome in. <laughs> Regina said they hungry, Skeets. I set off foggers out in certain areas where they were really, really bad at. Hey, Miss Cynthia, welcome in. She said stopping by to give my sis Jeannie some love. I enjoyed my amazing weekend, but overdid it, so I am resting. Well, rest away, honey. You're going to need it. Hey, Angel Renee today, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. And Juanita said, yes, was good to get away from our prog genus progeny for a while. We are doing well. Thank you for asking. I have just been doing 12-hour days so hard to check in. As my, oh, Ms. Deborah, I completely understand that, honey. Beach girl, is it a way? Is it okay if I call you Gwen? Rest easy, Cynthia, Bree says. And Wicked Granny is, uh, Pam is speaking to Angel Renee. I just love that channel name, Wicked Granny. If my grands was around me more, that's probably what they'd call me. Wicked Granny. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. Just excuse me for one minute. One second. I gotta rub some alcohol on my feet. Or I'm being unscratched sores. I even got the alcohol bottle in the room with me. I usually put Benadryl cream on them. You're welcome, Miss Vicky. I I I have to have the count for each row. Jeannie, did I get my Avon stuff from you, Chris? 
I haven't gotten any happy mail other than from Ronell and uh, Ms. Diane Sharp. Sunita, she said, if you want to, but my name is Genevieve. We could call you Jen or Jean. I'll remember that. Jean sounds like a, a dude name, though. We had a driver that was leased on with us. Oh, you found some remnants at Joanne's today, Bestie. That is good. Yeah, Genevieve is such a pretty name, and you don't hear that name that often. Yeah, we're going to go one more round of an increase, and then we'll go up. Oh, you're good, Miss Cynthia. Wow. Oh, no, I haven't even looked to... I, I know someone here in Selma that sells Avon. I probably could go to her shop. She um has a hair salon not far from my house. And um she's an Avon representative, and she has a lot of Avon products in there. But I'll tell you, that stuff from Avon has never worked on me for mosquitoes. It attracts them. That skin so soft stuff, yeah, it's never worked on me for mosquitoes. <clears throat> All right, for round eight, we're going to do a, another increase. So we're going to chain one and go right back into that same stitch and work one single crochet. And then we're going to work one single in the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to increase. So work two single crochets into the next stitch. And that'll be the repeat. One single in the next five. And then increase. And at the end of row eight, you will have 42 stitches. <clears throat> and then we're going to work five. And then two singles in the next one. One. Hey, uh, rolling with Rosie and friends. She says, send her my address and she will mail me some stuff that works. Hey, Miss Jerry, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Well, do, uh, Rosie. Oh, that's right, Don P. You got to meet Miss Cynthia. Y'all got to do a meetup. And don't forget when you get here to work your last single in that last stitch. 
So you're actually doing six singles at the end of row eight, at the very end. And you'll have 42 stitches. And now we're going to go up. It's just right, I don't know if you can see that. It's just right past the, the edge of my cup. <clears throat> and now we're going to go up. <laughs> Miss Jerry, that's what it seems like. Something's wrong with me. <laughs> I don't know about sweet, but they love me when I see Beach Blake Shelton song some some beach plays in my head. Then I think of Gwen. She took my man LOA. <laughs> me too, uh Sunita. Some beach. <laughs> when Hubby was alive, we got the bug zapper light just for skeeters and it helped. He liked to sit outside and it eat him up without it. Yeah. I got to get something because I can't do anything outside without getting either. And I even got a can of off that has a high deet in it. They they not immune to that no more. I think these mosquitoes are were released out of a lab somewhere. And they were taught how to be immune. They were given stuff to be immune to all of this stuff. Don P said it was like meeting up with an old friend. Wow. <clears throat> well, we're going to get to meet. All right. For row eight, you will have 42 stitches. So we're going to be working with 42 stitches. Zero sugar root beer and a dish rag on my hook. Oh, that's good, Rosie. Now, once we finish this, we're, the next craft we'll do, I've created a, you can use it as a kitchen set or bathroom set, either way it go. Um, But we're going to start doing it, and we'll do it until we complete the set. And we're using a stitch called the Nubby Stitch. <laughs> she said, nah, Jeannie, they're just cousin to Texas Skeeter's bug sprays just make them sneeze. That's probably why I get attacked so much, Pam. They mad at me for making them sneeze. <laughs> but I literally went to the mailbox today without anything on and sat out there and let the kittens eat. And I, I got tore up. And I mean, I'm sitting there watching them. And I say, as soon as they land, I'm going to kill them. Shoot, you better try to kill them before they land because as soon as they land, they done bitch. I think they bite me in, while still in the air. <clears throat> and it's going to include a scrubby, a dish rag, a towel topper, Mug rugs or coasters, whatever you want to make out of them. Um, and if we do it for the bathroom, I'll include a facial scrubby and stuff like that as well. So, all right, for round nine, we're going to chain one. Now we're going to work in the back loop of every stitch around with just a single crochet.
Yeah, 42 and then join with a slip stitch. And of course, it's wanting to flip out the wrong way. And then our cup is sitting there like that. And see how it's coming over the side. Perfect. Hey, Michelle Crochets in Kansas. Welcome in. Yes, Ro uh, Rosie, I will. <clears throat> and I'll also put on, uh, take a picture of what I've already made and put on there what you what you'll need. <laughs> Melissa says, laugh out loud. You're making me itchy now, Jeannie. Doing well. Thanks for asking. Just mentally prepare myself for a six day work week this month. Oh, I know, Sunita. <clears throat> I was fishing on the dam at Dumas, Arkansas, and you could feel them hit you, and they would leave quarter-sized welts on you. Yes. Well, I've never. Hey, Josefa. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I'm new to the channel. I would like to learn how to crochet. Well, Josefa, I do have a series on my channel that I've started that says teach me how to crochet. So if you're interested, you could check those tutorials out. I do got to get part six out. Um, I've got part one, two, three, four, and five out. I got to get part six out. <clears throat> but part one and two is just teaching you um, about different types of yarns, the different weights of yarns. We look at different hooks. We look at also different darning needles. Um, different stitch markers and stuff like that and on one of the parts we're actually looking at different abbreviations and terminology of crochet and stuff like that then we get into the actual crochet part on part three <clears throat> and welcome to butterfly dreams crochet and more we're actually learning how to make a pin cushion <clears throat> and i will end up doing a tutorial for this so that you won't have to go back and watch the live. So, and thank you all for welcoming Josefa in. I hope I'm saying your name right too. Thank y'all. So now, y'all finna learn how to do the single crochet V stitch. Have y'all ever done that before? And also, let me know what is your favorite cotton yarn to use. If I had a preference I, over this and um, Lily Sugar and Cream, it would be Craft or Secret. The only thing is, it's not as thick as the Lily Sugar and Cream. Still classified a four weight, but it's not as thick. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. She says, hi and welcome. We have a great time together. And Josefa, do you have a YouTube channel or are you just a supporter of other channels and you're wanting to learn how to crochet and start a channel or? Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Hey, Bronx girl. A.K.A. Jane. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you, Aisha, for dropping her link. This is jo Josefa's link. She needs subs. Y'all, please go and subscribe to her channel. All right, so we're going to chain one. And in that very same stitch, we're going to work one single crochet, chain one, and go right back in that stitch and work one single crochet. Just like that. It's like doing a normal V stitch, but you're using single crochets. We're going to skip one and go into the next stitch and work one single crochet, chain one, and one single crochet. Skip one, work one single crochet, chain one, and work one single crochet. Skip one. Work one single, chain one, one single, all the way around. Skip one, C, 
single chain one and single all in the same stitch skip one single crochet chain one and single continue that all the way around that would also make a pretty edging around something too y'all and um Joe, see for if they if you someone says they threw yarn in your window or they left a peach cobbler and uh, ice cream at your front door only thing that means is they hit that subscribe button to your channel <clears throat> we like to throw yarn <laughs> so skip one work a single chain one and single and just continue that all the way around. Skip one single chain, one single in the next stitch. This makes pretty dishcloths. This stitch makes pretty dishcloths and stuff too. And the way it's done, it looks like little picots on the edge there. <laughs> I want to say it make a good trim around something. Just remember to skip one, then work a single chain, one single into the next stitch. Skip one, single chain, one, and single. be pretty as a hat too yes Josepha is a beautiful name and Josepha you're more than welcome to drop your own link by just simply typing the word neighbor and if you're in the US it's spelled the way we spell it I know people in the UK they want to put a U in it And you will have one stitch left after you work your last single, chain one single. And we're going to join with a slip stitch to that very first single crochet that we made in our first single crochet V-stitch. And we're going to slip stitch into the chain one space chain one and go right back in that chain one space and work a v-stitch single crochet v-stitch and that's literally all we're going to do all the way around you like the hobby lobby cotton and premier cotton you talking about i love this cotton bestie or the or this one And Jane is drinking coffee and working on her waffle stitch blanket. Sunita's working on her shawl. And Rosie is asking, can you throw some yarn back? <laughs> and Josepha? Well, you come to the right place to learn, honey, because we all about teaching. Um... After you slip stitch to join, Brie, the first row of single crochet, you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of your very first single crochet V-stitch, and then slip stitch into the chain one space, and then chain one, and go right back in there and work another single crochet V-stitch. So one, chain one. And then single again. And you're going to work a single crochet V-stitch in every chain one space. <clears throat> yes, Sandrine, that's my favorite cotton when it comes down to making stuff like this. So we're going into the next chain one space. And y'all, sometimes it's hard to get in it because it's just a chain one. 
and a single. Go into the next one, work a single, chain one, and single. Go into the next one, chain one, single, chain one, and single. 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 And you're going to do this same way, Brie, all the way around until it fits whatever you're going to use as your storage until it gets to the right before the top here because you want to go around with a single crochet row around king cole eight four now i like that too but that's that's something i can't get every day <laughs> And that's my goal, too, is to make stuff with yarns that are easily uh, uh, accessible, either in stores or online, that you don't have to pay a fortune for. Now, I picked a purple button, but I don't know if I'm going to use a purple. It depends on how it looks. And I'll show you what my next bag is going to be made out of, too. Made it back to the end. Join with a slip stitch to that first single. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that chain one space. Chain one. And go right back in there and work a single crochet V stitch. Single crochet, chain one, and then single. And in every chain one space, I'm going to work a V stitch all the way around. I like that stitch. I may try that on something. Granny's prize is looking at me saying, pick me up. <laughs> you just need an even number of stitches. Like we ended in 42. So. Yeah, I like it too, Sunita. It makes a pretty stitch. And it makes a, a dense stitch too. I said, let me try it with a single crochet. We do V stitches with half doubles and doubles and trebles and everything else. I said, let me try it with a single crochet. And it works up pretty fast. Once you figure out where to put the hook for the chain one. <laughs> So when I first started doing it, I was splitting my single crochets. I was going between the legs of a single crochet instead of in the chain, chain one space. My left eye has been jumping like crazy today. I know people... 
have sayings that something's going to happen, but and see it, it gives it a nice effect. I didn't weave the end in on my other, my other one. It's just stuck in the bottom of the of the thing. I do use it, my pin cushion now. I got all kind of stuff stuck in it. The first one I made, I didn't turn it into a storage compartment at the bottom. And I'm like, well, darn, Jeannie. You wasted space. You could have put pins and everything else in there. And then we'll join with a slip stitch to the first single. <clears throat> but I used this one for my taller needles. Because this, the cup of this one, same thing in it. It's just stuff with um, fiber fuel. So these will go all the way down to the bottom. You hear that? It's just... And these are long enough that I can still stick them in there without losing them. And my pins too because the holes are closed. But this one is when I realized, okay, dummy. That's what I called myself, dummy. You should have kept the bottom as storage. So that's what I did. And you could put other stuff inside of it. And like I said, this one had three tape measures in it. But my goal is to put like my needle threaders that I got like this from Brenda. She took polymer clay and put over the metal needle threaders that makes them easier to hold on to. All the talent in the world, y'all. And then you could put other little stuff in there if you use the um, the quilt clips that you can buy like this. And you wanted that to hold. It does like an ice cream cone. <laughs> um, you could put them in there. You know, you could store a lot of, a lot of little small things in there. So, and on this one. I let my taller needles hold my row counter and it sits on top. Yeah. And I put these little plastic flat pearl beads that you get from Dollar Tree around this one. And then I put my butterflies on it. Because y'all know me and my butterflies. See, kind of like this. You buy these at Walmart. For like six dollars and something. And it come with these safety pins. And you got the pin cushion on the top. And I said, well, I can make my own pin cushion. So we're just going to keep going. We're going to slip stitch into that chain one space. Chain one. And work a single, chain one, and a single. And just do that until it gets the height that you need it to be. So I'm just going to keep working on mine. <clears throat> oh yeah jane this one this one had been used and i just brought it in the house and washed the the residue of the washing powder out of it well liquid washing detergent out of it so we got a couple of super chats all oh, classy kim thank you i'm writing it down to put on the wheel Yeah, I love this yarn. 
And y'all, Melissa has dropped a neighbor for people to join her family. And if y'all don't know, Melissa is the yarn dyer of YouTube. She hand dyes all types of yarn, acrylics, um, superwash merino wool, cottons. She does specific colorways to your wants. And she names the yarn after you. So, hey, get hooked up with Melissa. Crochet in agreement. Hey, Jenny girl and all yarn and crafters. That is a beautiful stitch you're doing. Oh, thank you, Class Kim. It's the single crochet V-stitch. Do it the same way you would a half double or double crochet V-stitch. Only thing you're doing is using single crochet, chain one single crochet. Thank you, Rolling with Rosie and friends. I got you down. And I'll put y'all on the wheel. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. And Melissa says, Classic Kim, hey, sweetheart, how are you? Oh, that's beautiful. Well, stop that. You ain't no dumb. <laughs> uh, Jen, you know how you just be talking to yourself. Yes, Rebecca. I, I said, you know what? Those pin cushions at Walmart is very, very high. And they are... I said, I got the yarn. I got stuff to make it with. And then when I was thinking about it, I said, what am I going to use for our storage? And I was cleaning off my cleaning my laundry room up and I said, you know what? This right here will make a perfect pin cushion. I'm always trying to think of stuff that we use on a regular basis that we could turn into something usable around our home. And my next thing because y'all know butter bowls don't come in a round form anymore they come in squares I, I got one saved when I washed it I usually use them to put um, leftover food in for my dog outside we don't feed him that all the time but from time to time, we'll give him, we call it his treat. <laughs> and I usually use my empty butter bowls for that because it has a lid. And I write on it, scraps, and I keep it in the refrigerator so it don't go bad sitting out on the counter. <laughs> and so my husband don't go in there and grab it. Out of the refrigerator thinking he got something to eat. So. Yeah. So that's how it's looking so far. And it's got a nice fit. To the cup. So a couple of more rows. I like how it looks almost like a little flower. You can make one looks like an ice cream cone. Hey, Marsha Lee. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Brie. Yeah, that is an awesome idea to make one look like an ice cream cone. Just will make the top skinnier. <laughs> Oh, Steve, great idea. He said you could also use steel wool instead of wadding. Help keep needle pins, etc. Et sharp. Hmm. I'll have to see if I can find some steel wool. Thank you, Aisha. Yeah, we're fixing to dance. You can make them treasure holders for little ones. So many uses. This not just a pen. you right, Margaret G. Right.
Are pill bottles too narrow or are lids too tight for this? Mm, I don't know. Maybe the big pill bottles might will work. The big round ones, they might would work. I throw my soap cup right in the washer with the load. Comes out clean every time. Yes, Jen. I have actually a mug rug that I made sitting on my sink because my soap dish is like wrought iron. It's a, um, I got it from one of the local furniture stores here and it has um, a horse on it. And I bought the whole set for the bathroom and putting wet soap and stuff in there and the water drippings, it was causing my sink to get messed up. So I finally got that cleaned off and I created me a mug rug and set on the sink and that sits on top of it. So it catches whatever comes underneath the hole through the holes. And I just take it and throw it in the laundry and wash it too. I also made one to sit on the side of my tub because the soap dishes never seem to stay in the bathroom. So, but those do. <laughs> My husband knows if it's crochet, you don't mess with it. <laughs> or you going to get got. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Melissa. Yes, there are so many things that we could take our yarn and make for our houses and stuff and utilize around our own home. I mean, we've already spent, the way I see things, we've already spent the money to buy the yarn and we're spending money to buy dishcloths that aren't going to last no time. And I don't know about y'all, but all the ones that I've ever bought from Walmart, they absorb the grease and stuff. And I don't care how many times you wash them or how hot of a water you put them in, you're not getting all that grease out. But that don't happen with the crochet ones. And I would rather wash my dishes with a crochet dishcloth. Then I had um one from Walmart. Getting back to the purple yarn now. And for the single crochet V-stitch, for those that's coming in late, you need an even number of stitches. We increase till we have 42 stitches. And you work one single, chain one, one single and one stitch. And you're going to skip a stitch and do the same thing in the next stitch. One single, chain one, one single. And that's for your foundation. And then once you get your foundation done, you just work the V-stitch in every chain one. The single crochet V-stitch in every chain one around. And you join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet, then slip stitch into the chain one space. And then you start your next round. I'm pulling on this yarn when I'm crocheting. It makes it look like it's higher on one side than the other. That would make a pretty baby blanket too. With a light three-weight yarn. Brenda. <laughs> the baby blanket person. Welcome in. Woolen around with joy. Welcome in. Sugar and cream yarn. Yes, you can, um, Beach Girl. I mean, Bronx Girl. 
The only thing is, you you base your increased rounds off of what you're going to use. Now, if you use actual lily sugar and cream, you may not do as many rounds as I did on this because even though this is classified a four weight, it's more of a three to me. It's not as thick as the lily sugar and cream yarn is. So you just do your increases until it comes out right past your lip here and then work in the back loop and it'll pull it right up just like that so it all depends on the whatever storage thing you're going to use now we were talking the other night and someone said um and i i didn't bring one i forgot it um the specimens cup cups that they use for um drug test would be good or not just for drug test but like if you go to the doctor and you think you got a uti and they give you the cup to tt in those cups would be good too now they're going to be taller and a little bit wider so of course it would make a bigger storage container And I meant to bring one over here. And I left it sitting on my desk. And you know what? You could actually, if you had a um, specimen cup that they use for drug testing. Or for a, ur a urine collection cup, period. You know, it comes with the two little vials inside of it that you have to put the specimens in. That would be good because guess what? You can, um, you can, um, put little small stuff inside of them like your needles. You could put, you could store your needles in those, and you could also put them back in the bottom if you use the the specimen cup. I'll bring one and I'll show y'all what I'm talking for those that might not be familiar. Um, Wednesday on the Yarny Fiber Sisters Live. I think it's at my house. I think that's, I think, yeah. Come to Cynthia. Did the last live, yeah. So we'll meet back here Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for the Yarny Fiber Sisters. And that's all you're doing is that single crochet V-stitch once you get your base made. And then we'll have to do the top.
and just do like I've been doing, sticking my cup inside of this to see how many more rows or if I got enough. You know, crochet is foolproof, right? If we mess up, we just frog it out and redo it. <laughs> you can't mess up crochet, can you? All right, I think that is it for mine. I stretched it all out of whack, holding it. I have a tendency to do that. I pulled to one side of my crochet project. Yep, and then I'll do a single crochet row around the top in every single crochet. And chain one space. So I'm going to chain one and go right back into that single crochet and work a single. Into the chain one space, work a single. Into the next single, work a single. Sometimes it's hard to get in them. <clears throat> Especially if you're a tight crocheter like me. Now you don't have to do the single crochet around the top if you don't want to. And if you want to leave it with the little like the pico look you can do that here comes that pretty pretty color again we hadn't seen a lot of it but it's sure pretty And then that's it. And if you wanted it to go up a little bit more, you could go back around with another single crochet row. But we're going to attach this to it. The top part to this. Yeah, I like mine like it is. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch and I'm going to chain one and cut. I'll weave that end in because <laughs> you can see it. Mind you of a cupcake. Yep. 
Yeah, I keep all my plastic. Yeah, you could do that too, Brenda. Mix the steel wool with the polyfill. Yep. So we're going to set that to the side. We're done. I'm done with that. Now, we'll have to put our button on there. For this bottom part, we're going to do the same thing that we did on the bottom here. But it's going to be a little bit wider. Because it's based off of the top of the cup. And not the bottom. So we'll do we'll do the same thing. Start out with six single crochets and we'll increase every row until we get it the width of our um top part here. And if you don't have cardboard, you can use plastic canvas. Um, if you don't have thick cardboard, you can use plastic canvas. But I recommend that you cut a piece of cardboard and super, super glue it. Hot glue it to it so it makes it stiff and your needles don't go through the holes of the plastic canvas. So, and if you don't have a cup and you wanted to do that, you could also get a piece. Now, this is a little bit too wide for this, but I can make it fit. You can also do it like that. And then take your plastic canvas and cut it the width and make it longer and then put it around this and that'll make this part stiff. That way you don't have to worry about it collapsing. So there's ways you can get around doing it if you don't have a cup. So, and you have some plastic canvas laying around. All right, so we're going to get started on the top part. Uh, Kim, that's what these are. <laughs> that's what this is. It's from my um, Tide washing powder. I got several more back there. Um, and I just bought a new jug of liquid tide when we went to Sam Saturday. So I'm going to take the old ones and bring them in and wash them. And I'm going to make some more. So start with a magic ring. And if you don't do the magic ring, you can start with a chain of four and join with a slip stitch. And work six single crochets into that ring. If you start with a magic circle chain one and work six single crochets and then close your circle And join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. And then chain one. And work one single crochet into that first stitch. And then we're going to work two singles in every stitch around. And when you work your last two in that last one, you'll only have 11 stitches. We're going to work one single crochet in that stitch right there. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single. Chain one. 
and work one single crochet into the next in the first in the same stitch then one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochets into the next stitch one single then two singles one single then two singles and we're going to increase every row yes you you probably can use the big round pill bottles it'll just be a smaller one but it'll still work Rolling with Rosie said, Nana Michelle, duck yarn coming your way. Welcome in, Miranda. Welcome in. Stop by to say hello and give a thumbs up. Got to get back to paying attention to church. They are singing, oh, baby, sing away. I just did seven wood tile rings over the weekend for family. Yes. I love that colorway. Yes, Pam, I do too. It's called Spring Stripe from Hobby Lobby. And they still have this colorway. This was not one that was on clearance. It is so pretty. Especially when you work it up like in a towel or something. You can use an individual yogurt cup for the bottom and lid for the pin cushion. And then snap on the top. Yep, sure can. Well, see, I don't eat yo I don't buy yogurt like that, so. Mm. Melissa said their yogurt comes in glass jars. Yep, very good idea. You know it, it would take forever, but it would look gorgeous. It would, Brenda. It would look real pretty in a baby blanket. Mm, nothing I know of, Beach Girl. Hey, Darcy, welcome in. I better go so I can come back on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, Virginia, y'all still don't have your internet up? You still using um your phone data? Our internet went out last night at 11.30, right in the middle of my show. You know what, Tank? I'll be right back. I'm going to show you something else that will work from Dollar Tree. Tank said Dollar Tree and it made me think about it. I don't think I have a peeping Tom, but let me, um, let me close the blind. <laughs> It ain't quite got pitch black out there yet, but it's getting there. These would work also from Dollar Tree. And that might be the next one I designed. These right here. And then you could use this as your storage and you can put your pin cushion on the top here you know what i got an idea i do have an idea instead of you could crochet this and then you can make your pin cushion out of fabric like scrap fabric oh that's right i did i called i was referring to bronx girl but said beach girl <laughs> brie where you at on it yes Lori, perfect
No, Bree, she's not going live on Mondays. She's sticking to her Thursdays. That's why I'm going back to my craft time. Because if I go over, then I just, I'm not infringing on anyone. Thank you, Elizabeth. Good night, Rosie. Thank you for the super chat. Let's dance before you go if you hadn't already left because I'm behind in the chat. This is for Rosie. Thank you, Rosie. And this is for Classy Kim. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm blowing bubbles. Y'all can't see because I got this. <laughs> Oops. I don't even know what I just did. I know one thing. I'm getting soaking wet. Here we go. Woo thank y'all, ladies. Oh, the back of my neck is wet now. <laughs> Let me get back to my small self. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Hey, Judy Hawk, welcome in. Thank you for stopping by and leaving a thumbprint. Welcome in, Marie Miller. She said you could also make a mushroom. That would be really cute. Yes, it would. Hey, Brandy with Bee's Crafty Corner, welcome in. Oh, well, Elizabeth, I'm... We actually went a little slow tonight because my fingers are cramping making John Boy's beanie. Let me show y'all his beanie. I like it. He used the sedge stitch and I used uh, it, it's a version of Premier Puzzle. The Universe Yarn Major is Premier Puzzle just with a different label on it. But I like it. And that's how it turned out. But he did the, he called it the claw over single crochet method. And it's the, it's actually called the cross stitch single crochet. Because if you look really, really close, they look like a cross, like an X. They recommend using that single crochet in Amigurumi because it makes a tighter stitch. Brisa, I'm crocheting from the inside out. Yeah, and then you just flip it to the right way. <laughs> mine usually goes back and forth when I'm doing it. Well, mine is bigger around on my can, so I have to find something bigger. It's okay. Just have to do another one. I got to head out. Y'all looks amazing, Jean. Love the colors and the stitch pattern. Such a neat idea. Y'all have a good evening. God bless you all. God bless you too, um, Melissa, and thank you for coming. Pen pads I made, I use crushed walnut walnut shells. Helps to keep pen sharp. Hmm. I would love drink coasters made out of that pretty yarn too. Oh. Hmm. Good night, Tank. Yeah, bees. B with apostrophe S, Crafty Corner, is Brandy. And B, the other B without the apostrophe S, is Pam. Hey, Michelle Morgan, welcome in. Yes, Kim, they're, they're easy to get. <laughs> and if you use them, when you're done with it, just wash them out. I used to keep mine clean um, every time I would put my detergent in my washer because I had one of the old style washers. And when the water was running in there, I'd rinse the cup out. Now my water don't start unless the, the lid is shut and it's locked. Hey, Lulu, welcome in. 
we're making a uh, pin cushion, Lulu. We've already done the bottom part. So. <clears throat> but welcome in. My hubby keeps yelling for me from downstairs, and I'm like, I can't hear you. I'm listening to Jeannie. <laughs> oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Hey, Michis, welcome in. Hey, Faith, welcome in. My husband just finished a conversation with me, and I only heard about half of it. It was about lamb meat, so I know it wasn't terribly important. You know what? I looked at some lamb meat when we was at Sam's. I would. How do you cook lamb meat? Because I would like to try it, because a lot of people say it's really, really good. And my husband has never had lamb. Do you cook it like you would any other meat? Oh, and y'all check y'all's Sam's. They had the big Frigidaire air fryers that has baked, broil, roast, and all that on there for $49. Olivia is making an AMI frog, and you should see the eyes. They're so cute. She can keep the AMI. I'm not a fan, but she is loving it. I haven't yet, Michi. I've got my yarn that I'm going to use to do the tutorial with. It's going to be this blue and this blue. I think with that background, y'all be able to see. And we're going to line it with this fabric. What y'all think? Good match. Y'all think that'll be a good match? But I and I was fixing to start working on it today, but I had to find my husband a load, and that took all day. And when I'm having to find loads, the only thing I can do is focus on the load board. I can't focus on nothing else. So, but I'll do it tomorrow because he's taken care of. I'll do it tomorrow. I put Q-tips in that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you only know about King Cole because you won three cones from Hobby. Hobie Bingo. Y'all haven't played Ho Hobie Bingo but one time since they moved to Monday. Okay, Bree. And then I'll when, let me know when you're done with it, if you're not done with it already. And I will um show, explain to you what you do for the top part. I stopped. I have one of those too. Yay, I have some cotton yarn to start using up. So perfect because I'm starting to get the feel of my sewing machine. Yes. And we'll we'll make that. Um, I'll do that tutorial tomorrow. It won't take me long because we're going to do the bottom different than the breezy bag. And then um, the, the other part of it is just a one row repeat. You're just going to do the granny stitch the granny cluster stitch all the way around until you get the bag the length that you want it um i will show y'all exactly how i did the breezy bag with the rope and stuff but the tutorial that i'm when i'll show y'all how to do all that with the wood rings and everything on the tutorial but my bag won't be made exactly like that it's going to be a new style bag I'm actually going to take the fabric and it's going to be measured taller than the bag itself. And I'm going to do a um, it's going to have a, um, a section in it that I can run rope through. And it's going to be a drawstring pull. But it's going to, the, the crochet part will be attached to the fabric. And then the drawstring part will be in the fabric. Not the actual crochet bag. Um, and I bought some 
clothesline from Harbor Freight. My husband can't stand the fact that I like going in Harbor Freight. <laughs> it's a tool store. Look, you can get these scissors for 89 cents. You can get these small 100 cable ties for $1.99. And I got this for $3.99. It's 100 feet. And this will be perfect. It's the perfect size to use for drawstrings and bags. So it's gonna have a hand, it's gonna have handles on it too. But for the tutorial, I'm gonna duplicate the breezy bag. But then I'll take all that out after the tutorial and change it up. Then I'll record that part and it'll be I can cut and use the same tutorial for the different type of bag closure and stuff if that makes sense to y'all oh thank you Cindy you can see me down there in that little bitty bottle <laughs> thank you darling I would love to buy you a sewing machine I don't want to waste money if I don't use it I've always wanted to learn to sew though I can't remember from home making high school Elizabeth, you probably can get that one that I got from Walmart just as cheap as you can buy a used one. And know that you'll at least have something that works for a while because I paid $88 for that one from Walmart. <clears throat> it is the Crafter Secret Lulu from Hobby Lobby. And it is the spring stripe colorway. Yeah. Finish top of row two. As Christina would say, nailed it. I just got mine last year because I am just getting over from being sick last year. Now I'm feeling better now. So I'm trying my hand at sewing and I'm liking it so much. Yes. Yes, walnut shells does work well. Harder to find though. Good night, Kate. Hey, Angela Mills. Welcome in. For the knitters, they can use a Pringle can to hold the needles and the plastic lid for the pin cushion and snap it back on the can. Oh, that is right. Miss Margaret G says she put the lamb in the crock pot totally frozen and cooked all day. Hmm. Oh, well, next time I go to Sam's, I'm going to um, get some lamb and we're going to try it. Y'all know what? <laughs> Y'all been saying I need to throw my shoes away. Let me show you what just happened. Literally. Now I got to go to Academy Sports. Y'all can't even see it. My strap broke. That goes across the top of my foot. And these are Crocs. I mean, I've had them probably about six years, seven years, maybe more than that. Now I got to go to Academy Sports. And get me another pair. And they probably won't have this style no more. That's where I buy all my Crocs from. So. Yeah. Now it's going to really become a flip flop. And I will fall if I try to wear that. <laughs> oh boy. And I only paid like $5 for them shoes. I get everything on sale. Okay, uh, Miguel, I'm going to get caught up on your videos after Blue, darling. OMG. Oh, yeah. Perfect match. Perfect. Thank you, Cindy. Yes, that's a good match. Perfect match. Thank you. Hi, Precious. That's Cindy makes car. Yes, Jeannie, it's really a perfect match. Beautiful blues. 
And Bree says, Sunita, how you doing with the shawls now? Okay, Elizabeth. Coraline, hi, it's me, Olivia. Hey, Olivia. I got to finish watching your video you did. Finish part one on all three, now starting part two. You're making three? I can't believe my shoe just sit here and popped loose like that. I mean, it didn't pop loose from the sides. It split right in the middle. <clears throat> I used to like playing bingo at Robins, but everyone seems to come on at the same time in our same days, and I just cannot do overloading right now. My blood pressure has been high last two weeks. Oh, no, Cindy. Uh, it's going to be a bag, Chandra. It's going to be a crochet bag, and I'm going to line it, and I'm going to show you how to use the wood rings and the rope. Now, the rope that we'll use for it will come from Dollar Tree, the bigger rope. Um, I'll take a picture of everything that I'm going to use and I'll post it to my community tab. That way you can be prepared for when the tutorial comes out, <clears throat> but I'll do the tutorial tomorrow. Well, I hope everything comes out good, Cindy, from the cardiologist. <clears throat> My husband came home sick last week. I was stopped up and everything, and I think he's gave it to me. I feel like I'm trying to get sick. Steve, type the word neighbor. Olivia wants to subscribe to your channel. Oh, yeah, Michi. I find a lot of good stuff in there. <laughs> I used to hate going in Harbor Freight. Every time we would go to Prevo or Montgomery, well, Montgomery, because Prevo hadn't too long got a Harbor Freight. Every time he said, we're going to Harbor Freight, I was like, oh, I really don't want to go in there. But when I actually went in there and I started just paying attention, they have a lot of good stuff in there that you can utilize in crochet. They have a lot of good storage containers, too. Even though it's made for tools, we can use it in crochet. Thank you, Maribel. Jen said, I made hot pads and a table runner with clothesline rope. See? Hey, Mitzi, welcome in. Elizabeth, I got that at Harbor Freight. Walmart does sell them, too. Um, but I got that at Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight Tools. We um, pay for their membership every year, so we get, like, the member deals and stuff like that. And you get coupons, and I use coupons. We got two free Harbor Freight five-gallon buckets. Um, it used to be when they did the free stuff, it would be when you, if you had a certain amount of a purchase or you had to purchase something in order to get it free. But now they've turned the members to where the members get it even regardless of the purchase. I could have went in there and bought something for 99 cents and got a free bucket. But we were all, we just had one bucket and we was ringing everything up together. And the cashier said, uh uh. And she slid my little stuff to the side. <laughs> and she said, We're going to ring this up separate so you can get two buckets. I said, Hey, that works for me. My husband was like, Yeah, maybe you'll leave my bucket alone now. <laughs> Use glue sticks on it. Yep. And another thing you can do, if you don't want to crochet a bottom for whatever you're trying to cover up, get you some rope or get you some twine and wrap it and glue it to it. Or you can do ribbon. It, there's other things you can do besides crochet. Like if I wanted to change this up, I could wrap twine around it. I actually have a jar up here on my shelf that I did that I covered in twine. Let me see if I can get to it. Because it's way back there. Without knocking stuff down. I'm going to have to move stuff. 
Come here. And I even put a handle on it. I'll put that back up there. Yeah, I started my YouTube channel in 2020. <laughs> and this is a jar. of It's a pickle jar. It's still got Mount Olive on it. And I wrapped it in the rope twine. I'm going to make myself bigger. I wrapped it in the rope twine. And then I actually used the rope twine to make a handle. So, there's other ways you can do things. And you could put a flower on there, which I might end up decorating this one a little bit more. And I literally used hot glue on it. I could take one of these flowers here and put on the front of it and make it prettier. And that's a um, pickle jar. And that flower came from Walmart. <laughs> my whole top of my shoe came off when I wore them to church. Had to run home and change before church started. There was only an inch left sewn on. Laugh out loud. They were Clark's even. Thread was warped. Wow. I got me a cheap pair of fancy Crocs on Timu for about $5. They are comfortable and waterproof. Love them wearing around the house. You can mop floors, wear outside or anything. Love them. Now I have a pair of black Crocs in my closet. It was actually my first pair of Crocs that I ever bought out of nursing school. So I've had them things since two, about 2002, 2003. And they're still good. And I got them from uh, Academy Sports. My mom gave me the rest of her yarn she had in her stash because she can no longer crochet due to her hands hurts and they shake too much, yeah. I have a clothesline, Elizabeth. You can get the rope at Home Depot or Lowe's and Walmart too, I think. Yeah, Walmart sells at Home Depot, Lowe's, Harbor Freight. I used to have, I, well, I got a clothesline outside, but our air don't smell good. <laughs> I ain't hang my clothes on the clothesline. Had to rewash them because they smell fishy. Good night, Classy Kim. Everybody's throwing yarn in Steve's window. Thank y'all. Don P says she sent an email. I got my phone on. Do not disturb. And Elizabeth, you got a package coming. If you're still listening. But it won't be coming from me. It'll be coming from Brenda. And let's see. Email, Jeannie. Email. She just told you. Um, Don P, where you send it to? Love everything crochet at Gmail. And make sure it didn't go to spam. Hold on. Because I don't see it in that email. It didn't go to spam. Make sure it went through Don P because I hadn't I haven't received it yet. <laughs> And Brenda, you're welcome. Thank you. I got to Harbor Freight for my hubby, and I find fun stuff like those metal magnet trays for my pens. I painted them. Yes, Karen, yes, those magnet. They have little metal trays. They come in different sizes. They have a smaller one, then they have a medium, and then they have a real big one. They're supposed to be for, like, screws and nuts and bolts and stuff. 
but they would be perfect for pins and needles and everything else too in the crochet world or the yarny world okay Bree's ready all right Bree, what you're going to do is whatever the container that you're using like this one is smaller at the bottom than it is at the top you want to make your your um bottom piece like we did here to fit the top of your container so like that and we're you're you're going to really duplicate what we did here for the top and then once you get that the size that you need it then we're going to work up and we're going to work up so many rows now for this i only did single crochets but you can do the uh single crochet v stitch if you would like to but i only did single crochets and then once you get up so far then you're going to just start decreasing to the center but when you before you start decreasing make sure to put this in the bottom and then start filling it with your fiber fill or leave enough space in the top that you can still pack it with your fiber fill but you need to put this in the bottom so your pins and stuff don't poke through and see you can even put them little short ones like this one on the side and you ain't got to worry about it going down to the bottom so <clears throat> and then we'll attach this to this and we'll, we're going to I sewed that one on but we're actually going to do it with slip stitch on the on this one and um then put your button on and then we'll make the little chain so you're going to start out with the same number of single crochets in the middle six then do two and then do two one two one and then two two until it gets to the size that you need it to be and if i need to i can stop here and i can do this part in a tutorial well, I'm going to do the whole thing in a tutorial, too, so. And I did it the same way as we did the first one. Where we chain one single crochet in the first one. And now we'll do two singles and then increase. So we're basically doing the same thing on the top as we did the bottom, but we're going to decrease to bring it in. Yeah, Margie, go check them out. You can get glue sticks from there. You can get hot glue guns from there. You can get all your zip ties of any size from there. Um, You can even get the pliers and stuff that you need for crafting with. They even have a pair that has got the crook head on it, which I think would be really, really good for those that make stitch markers and stuff because you can grab it and hold it to the side and still be able to work on it. Um, you can get batteries from there, but now I tell you, stay away from the batteries because they don't last no time. They're cheap, but Dollar Tree batteries last longer than their batteries do. They have some neon orange and neon yellow nylon on a spool. It's actually used for um, chalk lines, but you could you could crochet with it. You could get um, instead of using floral wire, they have um, some other wire, not welding wire. It was a uh, auto wire, I think but it was a round thing of wire you get a lot more on it and it was actually 
18 gauge, I think. And it's real sturdy. If you use floral wire for like different crochet flowers or anything like that, you could got you could get that and use it in place of floral wire. Now, of course, it wouldn't be green, but you could definitely use it. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff there you can utilize in crochet. K. Krause said, I took a water bottle and wrapped it with twine and added beads for my pins. Yep. And Darcia, make sure you go check out Margie's channel and see the beads that she has been making. They are beautiful beads. Angie was doing videos on bead making. Love them so much. I know, Cindy, I want to make some so bad. <laughs> Miguel said, as Gosling is being stubborn and not wanting to go in the coop. You better get in that coop. He probably in the coop already. And Lulu says, nice to meet you, Mitzi. My heel broke at my daughter's high school graduation. I had to walk three blocks in the hot Texas sidewalk to get back to my car. Oh, no. I had on a pair of boots and the whole heel came. I don't wear heel heels. It had the, the square heel. And the whole heel came loose. Miguel said he missed Steve's link. Steve, if you still here, drop your link again. It went through, Dawn. I hadn't. I, I, it just came through. She said, this is my first requested item that I have created. It was created using Karen Simply Saw Speckle in the color antique with a white border. It was a six row repeat, three rows granny stitch, one row double crochet, one row micro bobbles, and one row double crochet. You better open up where I can zoom in on you. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a blanket. That is gorgeous. And Don P, you're going to love the challenge that we're fixing to announce Wednesday on the Yarny Fiber Sisters. Menards has 200 feet clothesline, all cotton. Oh, we don't have a Menards. My daughter wore a pair of heels to Boko Band Homecoming, and they broke as she was walking in. A friend's daughter was nice enough to let her share her heels, and she had Converse sneakers as a backup. Tell you what, they don't make shoes like they used to. Jen dropped Steve's link, Miguel. Uh Thank you, Jen. Hey, Nancy, I have two of those magnet trays, a small and medium one. They hold my pins. Yep. Good night, Brandy. Miguel threw yarn in your window, Steve. I know. A lot of my problem, our problem with the air is when it's cloudy and stuff, we get all the scent from the mill. From the paper mill. You can use a mail jar. They are plastic for the twine on jar. Won't be as heavy. Ooh. That is right. Maritza says. Gotta try this tutorial. Thank you Maritza. Yes. Just keep going Brie. And once you get your base the size that you need it for your top part you can do the um single crochet v stitch for the top part as well i think i chose to do single crochets because by the time i got to the top part i was just ready <laughs> i was just ready to be done with it do y'all do that when you're making something, <laughs> cut corners because you're ready to be done with it. Mm. 
<clears throat> Y'all little Miss Sandy pulled an all-nighter Saturday. <laughs> I said, I guess Saturdays is her nights out. Your internet was acting up. And the right Nancy, a lot of storage solutions. Yeah, those batteries aren't worth a flip. To sharpen scissors, take a single piece of aluminum foil and take your scissors and cut. Hmm. Well, I got plenty of aluminum foil. We just bought a two-pack from Sam's. My husband might not like the idea of me <laughs> cutting. Oh, my blocking board fell. With all my squares on it. I was trying to find that bag. Oh, I said it right here. Now, these scissors are pretty good that you get from Harbor Freight. That's what I was going to take them out and show y'all. Uh, uh. For 89 cents, you can't beat it. And they have the little op the jar, op can, op uh, bottle openers right there. And they're tight. Just don't mess around leave them outside. Or they going to freeze up on me. <laughs> um, Harbor Freight, Miss Nancy. Michi said, I just folded three baskets of clothes. I think it's time for me to sit and crochet. Yes, Michi, enjoy. I hate folding up clothes. I don't mind washing them and drying them, but I need somebody else to fold them up. Hang them up. <laughs> and put them up. And I don't care for ironing. So you would think I would fold them up when they come straight out the dryer. I iron when I put my clothes on. You're almost done with the top now? Girl, you done bypassed me. They're good. I have a pair of the um, Pioneer Woman scissors for the kitchen. I bought her knife set at Christmas time for $20. And it comes with a bunch of different knives. And they all have the sheaths for them. And it came with the scissors. And I love them knives. They are sharp. I need to get my knife sharpener. That's what I need to get. My husband's been looking at buying a, a, a nice knife set. They had one at Sam's, but he didn't like the price of it. <laughs> I had two knives that we got from Walmart a long, long, long time ago. My kids were small. I mean small. And they had serrated blades. And they were in there doing demos. And we ended up buying two of them. Those knives would cut a frozen chicken. For a knife sharpener. I'll have to pay attention to them when I go back in there. <clears throat> but, um. Oh, good. Ivy is home from the hospital. She posted on Facebook. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now continue to heal her body of any ailment that she may have.
Bree, it feels good doing something besides squares, don't it? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. That is fantastic news. Are we still going to keep praying? Thank you, Jesus. She is at home. Now she needs to continue. He does answer. He does listen. And he does answer our prayers when we ask. Yep. Well, I haven't found my um my good pair of pink and shears yet. I figured I would find them after I cleaned up. I mean, after I bought a new pair. But I, I haven't found them yet. Yes, yeah, great news for Ivy B. Yes, yeah, she does, Jen, and she needs to get rest I know I have to make myself go to bed or I'll be up till 2 3 o'clock in the morning and back up at 6 or 7 the next day And then I can do that for about a couple of weeks and then my body starts shutting down. And then I go comatose and sleep all day and all night. So I've, I've started getting in bed before, no later than 12, no later than 11. I'm going to say 12. And I put the TV on something that I really don't care to watch. And I go to sleep. I've even started back reading. Because used to I would read every night before I go to bed. And that would help me unwind and put me to sleep. I'm ready to go up with a single crochet row, I believe. Do a single crochet row around and then go up. And I better increase one more time. Yes, we'll continue to pray. Just because you get home don't mean you're out of the woods yet. I mean, I was 
I was worried about her, but I wasn't that worried about her because Montgomery has some of the some of the best hospitals. I already told my husband if anything ever happened to me, I'm going to Montgomery to the hospital. And if it's something that can't wait till I get to Montgomery, he can take me to the local hospital here just to get stabilized. But as soon as I'm stable and able to be moved, I better be transferred to Montgomery somewhere. Because if not, when I come to, whatever happens, he going to need to be stabilized. <laughs> Good night, Don P. Hope you have a night as beautiful as you are. Because you check in this hospital, but you don't check out. Like that saying that people you say all the time with Bates Motel, <laughs> you check in, but you don't check out. And Jen, you do. I mean, this hospital here in Selma is horrible. If my neighbors have to go to the hospital to the ER... They have me go with them. And that's all the neighbors. So a band-aid station, like, well, uh, they ain't going to give you a band-aid. When Chastity was little, well, not just Chastity, um, four. Um, Chastity Caleb and Little Man, they had, um, bunk beds in their room. And they were in there playing. And Chastity was on the top bunk. And Caleb and them was telling her, go on back, go on back, go on back. Gone back. And the last time she went back, she fell off the top bunk and went straight through the window. We were sitting in the living room and we heard it. We thought somebody had threw a brick through one of the windows. And we get up. First thing we do, we go to the front door, go out on the deck, and we looking. And when we look down to the right, we see Chastity straddling the window. Now, mind you, we was living in a single-wide trailer at that time, so you know those are up off the ground. And we, um, so I run back in the house and run in the room. She's just bleeding. And I had just got done with nursing school. Had not even took my board yet or anything. I grab her, take her to the bathroom, sit her on the sink, put her little leg in the bat in the sink. She had cut a gash about this wide and deep in her right at her um ankle area. I grabbed a towel and where I got the strength from, only God knows. I ended up grabbing that towel and just ripping it into a smaller piece. And I took that and wrapped it around her leg. And I tied a knot in it on the cut. Because it was not stopping. And my husband said, come on, I got the keys. Let's go. I said, let's go. You not drive. <laughs> You're not driving. I said, you can get in on the passenger side. I'm driving. It took us 30 minutes to get to a hospital that takes 10 minutes. <laughs> no, I'm driving. So we pull up there to the hospital. I go in. They go ahead and get her registered. They get her triaged. And the darn nurse removed my bandage, my, my little towel that I had tied on there, to see. As soon as he did that, I mean, it just started pouring blood. 
He said, oh, she'll be all right. And he just wrapped it back around there. Didn't bother to tie the knot in there. I said, you know what? That's fine. I took her right out there in that waiting room. And I sat there with her leg like that, monitoring her bleeding now. I wasn't going to let her bleed to death. And I let the floor get covered in blood. Then I, then I tied my knot back in there. And I didn't tell him that blood was all over the floor. And it was still two hours before they called us to the back. And the only thing she needed was a good cleaning and stitches. They they stupid. Bunch of doggone morons. That's all she needed. And I told him to make sure to tie it tight back like I had it. If not, she was going to bleed. Oh, no, she'll be okay. Okay. Then they had to shut that whole side of the emergency room down to come clean up the blood. Mm. Make your nurse come, make your triage nurse come clean it up. It's his fault. And my kids, they do some of the, they have had some of the darndest injuries. And my poor husband, I told him you need a kiss about like you need a darn hole in your head. <laughs> Debbie, they was outside playing football. And Debbie jumped up to catch the ball. And he's always been taller than any of the rest of them. And when he jumped up to catch the football, he came down on one of them and fell. And when he landed, he landed on his thumb. No lie, y'all. It pushed his thumb into the palm of his hand. Good night, Miss Mark. Hey, Ivy. You're so welcome, sweetheart. We have all been praying for you and worried about you. And our sweet Jen has been keeping us up to date with what was going on and stuff. So glad you are home, but we're continuing to lift you up in prayer. Y'all, I just got tears in my eyes. So glad you are home, honey. Because I was fixing to call the hospitals tomorrow to see which one you was in. Because I know your government name. <laughs> And to see if you can have visitors or at least talk to you, call your room and talk to you. Thank you, Jesus. Where's Mr. Ivy at? So we can tell him to make sure you get plenty of rest. I gotta wipe my tears out of my eyes, y'all. I can't see. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to do the V-stitch on this one as well. Make the, make the top match the bottom. Yeah, we love you, Ivy. He was the best nurse. I bet he was, Ivy. Please continue your rest at home, darling. We need you around a lot longer. With all your beautiful makes. Where my top? Yep, perfect. I know, me too, Sandrine. 
that's the thing about i love about this yarny community when one of us is sick and hurting and in need we all pull together for the greater good and that's what it is all about being there for each other when we need each other and even when we don't need each other being there hey we tarry until he comes homestead welcome in ovw welcome in y'all that is ovw we tarry until he comes home that is her homesteader channel Y'all need to go watch that video where the chicken jumped on her head. <laughs> that was too funny. <laughs> all I can say is our God is awesome. I can't sing, y'all. He can move mountains. Where one or two are gathered, his presence is there. I was going to say, did I go around in the back? Yeah, it'll all come up. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> I'll do this the V stitch single single crochet V stitch for so far and then I'll go to singles when I need to do a row of single crochets and then start the decrease. So the top will be single crochets. And you just make this as big as you want it to be. If you don't want it as big as the first one that I made, you just make this shorter. Yes. Oh, yes, most definitely, Ivy B. Most definitely. Okay, Granny D. Hey, whatever works, Brie, whatever works, honey. Oh, yeah, Ivy. But we still love you, though. I'm just a big old bag of water anyway, Ivy. <laughs> it don't take much to make me cry. And I got a heart for people, so I'm just so, so, so glad you're at home. I know now you can really rest because you don't get the right rest in no hospital. I G and me too. I'm a big old cry baby. I cry at movies. <laughs> what you think I'm gonna do in real life? Shoot. And it don't bother me at all. My son, my baby son, my last child, he got hurt at work Saturday. I seen that picture and I cried. 
He went to the doctor today. He didn't go Saturday or Sunday. He went today. I told him you was you should have been at the dog on hospital Saturday. And they was I'll show y'all the pictures. Got a little blood on it, but it's not bad. And if I hadn't talked to him this morning, he wouldn't have went. That's his that's his left leg. Look at that knee. Hey Sophia, welcome in. And I just cried when I seen that. Because I'm not there with him. They was doing, they had some contractors at their job doing something. And one, it was dealing with some big heavy pipe. And the guy that had it up on the chain on the crane pushed it or something too hard. And he in, it ended up falling and it hit him right on his leg. He was in a squatting position. I'm glad he had a hard hat on. Y'all, that scared me to death when he told me what happened because it made me think about my cousin. And I'm just thankful that it hit his leg and not his head because them hard hats don't always protect you from stuff that they're supposed to. And it didn't my cousin. <clears throat> But he went to the doctor today and they did an MRI and a CAT scan. They couldn't really see nothing but a lot of swelling because of the swelling. So they put him on some medication. Probably gave him some steroids to take too. I know he said they gave him some antibiotics to take. And um, They got to, they want to see him back Thursday. And if the swelling is gone down, they're going to repeat the test, the, the CT scan, the MRI to make sure nothing is damaged on the inside. The doctor said something about he may have some soft tissue damage. I know when he was in junior high school in the seventh grade, they was outside at recess. And um, I might be switching up here. Oh, no. I think I made mine too big. I did. I'm going to have to redo mine, y'all. This is too big. Yeah, that's going to fit over that like a mushroom. <laughs> Let me put the lid in there and see. See? You can't go wrong in crochet. You can always redo it. Jenny, it ain't going to fit like that. It's going to fit like this. But yeah, that'll be too big. I need to take a row out. <laughs> when he was in junior high school, they was outside playing uh, football during recess. And a boy shoulder hit him, came down and hit him at his knee with his shoulder. And when he did that, it literally knocked his knee to the side. And he ended up fracturing his growth plate and tearing his meniscus in his right knee. But what I but let me I gotta tell y'all a story about my son and his thumb. Not so much him, my husband. Now I was working at a nursing home down in Hainville, and it was forty something miles from my house. Now that's gonna be it right there. And 
they paged me that I had a phone call. <laughs> oh, I answered the phone, and it's my husband. I could hear him, but I he could not hear me because he had the darn phone upside down. But the kids told me, Ma, before he called you, he had the remote to the TV trying to call you. He had been, he had cut the grass that day and he always kept um, a six pack of beer in the refrigerator and he had been drinking. I don't know what kind of beer he was drinking that day because he, he was kind of out of it. And he told me, he said, I don't know what you're going to do, but you need to get home because Devion's thumb is not where it's supposed to be. I said, do what? He said, no, his thumb is not where it's supposed to be. They were outside playing football and he fell and he landed on his thumb. Now his thumb is turned around the other direction and it's in the palm of his hand. <laughs> so me as a nurse, I'm sitting here trying to figure Okay, his thumb is twisted around and now it's in the palm of his hand. Is it like this and turned around? Is it snapped loose here and just limp <laughs> in the palm of his hand or what it is? So I get home. His thumb is in the right position. It just dislocated it and shoved it into the palm of his hand. <clears throat> So I took him to the emergency room and they gave him some medicine and the uh, doctor and the nurse <laughs> popped it back in place and he had to do rehab with just the um, stress balls and stuff to make sure he didn't lose his strength and stuff in it. But my husband, I tell you, he does not do hospitals at all. And obviously, he don't do injury with kids at all either. But my boys were boys. Caleb shot Devion in the lip with a BB gun. And he had a BB stuck in his lip. Needless to say, they didn't keep their BB guns. Because when I got home, I ended up breaking them across my knee and throwing them in and built a fire and threw them in the fire and burned them. So. I'm just going to do single crochet. I ain't going to worry about doing the V-stitch. But, yeah. And then Sarah going to try to siphle gas. And ended up swallowing some of it. And I, I was in RN school. And I was in class. And... He stopped, bought her milk. She drunk the milk. And we was actually on lunch break. So I had went to churches to get me some their spicy chicken sandwich. And he was riding around Selma trying to find me instead of taking her on to the hospital. Hey, Miss Chocolate, welcome in. Instead of taking her on to the hospital. Oh, boy, I tell you. But boys will be boys. And that's the only, the injury that Chastity got when she fell through the window. That's all that happened to her. And the other two girls, other than Sarah swallowing gas, Kanisha... She didn't really care to be outside. She didn't like bugs. But you was raised in the country. So. But my boys. 
and I still to this day don't know what cut little man's foot. We were we were um, mud riding on the four wheeler, and we was in a field that hadn't had nothing planted in it in a long, long time. Um, yeah, the boys did make her do it, Bree. They t kept telling her to go on back until she fell out the bed. Um, and when he got off the four wheeler, he stepped down and something sliced his foot open about that long and about that wide. Don't know what it was. We tried to find it. We couldn't find nothing. I went back the next day and tried to find it. Couldn't find nothing that could have cut his foot like that. Don't know what it was. And, of course, I had to take him to the ER. And I promise you, the only thing you could see on me was my teeth and my eyes. I was muddy from head to toe. He was muddy from head to toe. But I had to take him to the ER. And we actually didn't mud ride no more after that. Not back in that field anyway. And they didn't do nothing but put some, um, liquid stitch on it they didn't even suture it up they said it would heal up fine on its own and it did they put some of that liquid stitch stuff on there pulled it together put that on there and wrapped the ace around it and told me just to keep an eye on it and keep a check on it i thought they would have sutured it up but they didn't I cleaned, we cleaned his foot and stuff off before I took him to the ER. I don't like to say is thank God for good insurance back then because, because if we didn't have good insurance, I'd have been broke all the time. Yeah, now that's perfect there. But yeah, and when I took Debbie on to the ER for the BBB and in his lip, they was laughing. It broke one of his teeth. He had to have it pulled, <laughs> and I had to end up taking him to the ear, nose, and throat doctor the next day. And Dr. Nikito, he barely could remove the BB with, for laughing. I know. <laughs> yeah, we had to set our four-wheeler down because Chastity tried, thought she could ride it up a tree. Sarah thought she could ride it fast and ended up going through the woods and flipping it. And they do all this stuff when I'm not at home. They All this happens when I'm at work. And how they found the key to the four-wheeler, I have no idea. And knowing them, they called their daddy and he told them where it was at. Yeah, that's going to be good right there.
So Hey Miss Beverly, welcome in. Ivy says she done that with a motorcycle up a tree trying to find reverse. <laughs> cottage cheese and pears anyone oh ivy my mama used to eat that all the time my hubby and son were dirt bike riding this weekend and hubby got stung on his belly it might be a wasp thing but it's raised and red still the stinger might still be in it uh brie check and see if you see a little black spot in it if you see a little black spot in it it still has the stinger in it and um if you got some meat tenderizer, you can put some um, wet some meat tenderizer and put on there, and it'll bring that stinger up and help with the swelling and stuff of it too. And if you don't have that, and you know anyone that has some tobacco, whether it's a cigarette or skull or anything like that you can get the tobacco from a cigarette and wet it and squeeze the juice on a band-aid and then put that on there or if you get know someone with some skull or something you can do the same thing with it just wet it a little bit and put it on there that's the best thing in the world for wall stings and bee stings some form of tobacco and that's all my grandparents used to use on us and they dipped that um powdered snuff and she used to take it straight out her mouth and put it on us when we get stung by a bee I tell you what, it works though. You can have the cottage cheese, but I'll take the pears. Sunita and Chandra said, I had a delicious mango today. Yummy. Peaches. Yeah, my mom used to do peaches and cottage cheese too, but she'd do the pear halves and fill them suckers up with cottage cheese. That's something I can't eat. Miss Beverly, we're making a pin cushion using a cup from your washing powder for the storage underneath. And the top, we're just making it and we're going to use a piece of cardboard. And if you don't have thick cardboard and you want it to be a little more thicker, you can take a piece of plastic canvas and hot glue it to the cardboard. I do have a piece of cardboard that I cut that is really really sturdy I can't even be in that you just want something solid in the top part so your needles and stuff when you stick them in the pin cushion part it don't go down to your storage so I don't think I'm going to make this one as tall as that one. After this row, I'm going to start decreasing. And I'm going to decrease by 6 since I uh, increased by 6. But... I 
I'm still sad. I got to throw my darn shoes away. <laughs> just sitting here and my strap just popped right dead in the middle. I can't believe that. I've actually been sitting here trying to figure out a way I could put it back together. <laughs> hey, GGP, welcome in. It doesn't have a stinger in it. Hmm. Try some um I'll try some meat tenderizer on it and see will that take the the swelling and stuff out of it. Because he's having a reaction and it's still holding all the poison in there. That's why as soon as we used to get stung, they used to pop that snuff and stuff on us. And a piece of uh, fat back with all the salt on it. That worked too. Ooh, Bree says strawberries and cottage cheese. Oh, good night, Darcy. I just, I, y'all can miss me with the cottage cheese. I eat the fruit though, the peaches, the pears, and the, and the strawberries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when I decrease, I do the invisible decrease. Go in each front loop and decrease. Hubby said, I'm trying to pick some up to put him on the grill. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tell him we, we got to get him well so he can make some more um bobbin holders. And something that I definitely have to stay away from because I am highly allergic to it now and used to not even bother me. And that's poison ivy. Two, three. I used to could rub it all over me and not have no kind of reaction to it. Not now. I better put my base in there before I forget and it won't fit. <laughs> now I want some cottage cheese. I eat mine with grapes. I like that fruit that uh, fruit stuff you can get at Walmart for with my grapes. That fruit dip stuff you can get. Karen loves cottage cheese and applesauce. Huh. I I don't like the curdiness of cottage cheese. That used to be my mom's favorite thing to eat was pears or peaches with cottage cheese. Mm. Not me.
Yeah, that's gonna be better. <laughs> I'm doing my decreases. Caramel ice cream toppings and apples. Oh, yes. Now I eat that. Or I get those little small caramel dip things you can get at Walmart. They're the little small ones like um, they're about this big round and about that deep. I'll buy them. They come, I think, six in a pack. And I can get the um, sugar-free ones. I'll get those and eat them with apples. But I eat apples with peanut butter. Apple is also good in vinegar. Maribel says she likes feta cheese with grapes. I ain't I ain't down with all them different kind of cheese. <laughs> and give me American sharp, medium, and mild. <laughs> or some hook cheese. Now, I like Velveeta slices with um, oatmeal cookies. Yeah, Beach Girl, apples and vinegar is good. I slice them up and then put just a little bit of vinegar on them and let them sit for a little bit in them. And then I, I eat them. I don't do it too often. Welcome back, Mama J. Elizabeth says she likes sour green apples but yeah apples and peanut butter is good now one thing my other grandma used to eat was bananas and peanut butter sandwiches peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <laughs> I don't know about no dog on <laughs> peanut butter and banana but they say it's good. Yeah, apple cider vinegar. Pretty much same as you putting vinegar in your apple. And eating it. That's what it's looking like, y'all. Peanut butter and banana or peanut butter and fluff. You talking about the marshmallow fluff, Brie? Hmm. I bet that's super sweet. Speaking of marshmallows, I got a bag of marshmallows in there now. I can eat just marshmallows. But I like them in my hot chocolate. Hot chocolate is not hot. Hot chocolate without marshmallows. And I don't mean them little horror ones that come in the package either. <laughs> I'm talking about the real fluffy 
marshmallows. The soft ones. A fluff of nutter Sammy. <laughs> I love cucumbers and vinegar, Mama J. My granddaddy used to fix that all the time when we would um pick stuff out of the garden and everything. He would take those cucumbers and slice them up and put them in a bowl and pour vinegar and a little water on them and pepper. They had to have black pepper in them. And, oh, I, I, I still do it to this day. Now, do y'all prepare y'all's fluff before y'all fluff, uh, y'all's fiber fill before y'all stuff it? I didn't know you were supposed to pull it apart. <laughs> I heard somebody talking about it. I think it was John Boy when he was making the mermaid tails. Them big old mermaid dolls. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Be a nice size. All right, let me carry on with my decreases. This is what makes my hands cramp, having to hold on to this stuff like this and do it. And finagle my way around it. But we get her done. Hey, Carrie, welcome in. <laughs> Elvis Mama would grill the bread for the peanut butter and banana with lots of butter like a grilled cheese. Yummy. Cooked some vinegar with salt and pepper. Yup. My stepbrother likes banana, peanut butter, and mayo on bread. Ooh. Now, how many of y'all have ever ate a ketchup sandwich? <laughs> Or you just take two pieces of bread and put ketchup on it and eat it. Or a mayonnaise sandwich. I done ate mayonnaise sandwiches. I done ate um, ketchup sandwiches. Now, when I was pregnant with Caleb, I craved um, tomatoes and vinegar with onions. Yep, I love that. I craved pickle sandwiches. If you take one jar of fluff and one block of soft cream cheese and use an election, it's the best fruit dip for a party. Oh, I bet I'm going to try that. Me both. Ketchup? Yeah. I'm eating chocolate cake right now. Oh, Carrie. <laughs> no mayo. Yuck. Miracle Whip Girl here. I used to be a Miracle Whip Girl too, Ivy, but. Mustard and mayo, yep. I will literally take mayo and put it on bread and I put black pepper on it and I'll eat it. Just something about that black pepper. And 
and ain't nothing like some good old fried chicken coated in mustard. But it's got to be French's mustard. That's some of the best fried chicken. If you want a different taste. All right, let me put a little more stuffing in here. My husband eats syrup sandwiches. Jen says, I like mayo or Miracle Whip, but I now prefer Hidden Valley Ranch. That's the only kind of ranch I buy, Jen, Hidden Valley. Krause Ranch just ain't got no good taste no more. Hidden Valley. I used to take and put mayonnaise on my bread and pack it down with pickles. And I can't, I don't like pickles. But I sure ate them when I was pregnant with Caleb. Now that's going to have to be enough stuffing because I, uh, well, I can go to the back room and get some more. I used all that little bit. Now this is just going to be a decrease row. Uh, a single crochet decrease row. Yeah, my husband would take him two pieces of light bread and squirt him some syrup on it and make him a syrup sandwich. Oh, me too. I, now, my hot dog, it's got to be coated in mustard. <laughs> I, I, my husband said, why don't you just stick your hot dog in the mustard jar? You got the whole darn jar on your hot dog. And I got to have my chili. On my hot dog. No, that's stuffed enough. I I've, I haven't never tried a syrup sandwich. That just that ain't my. I'm not a big syrup person. I cooked waffles yesterday morning, and I put peanut butter on mine. All right, that is done. I just got to weave that end in. So that's what that one looks like. I just got to stick that in there somehow or another and weave it in. I'll run it through there a couple of times. Make sure that top is closed up good. I like these needles, but I'm bad about losing my yarn out of them. You know what would be cute on top of that, too? You could put a button up there for decoration.
Yeah, that's good there. And then you can shape it whichever shape you want to. You can smush it. Or you can fluff it up. And now, we're going to attach it to this in the back. You don't want it to be um, all the way around because you want it to have the... Be able to open up like a door. And you can just join it with a slip stitch or you can sew it to it. I sewed the first one. I'm going to try to slip stitch it this time. It might be too tight. And we need to put our button on here. On the base part of it. I'm actually redoing the top of mine because it's a little too wide. I think I had too many single crochets. I just ripped it out. Go back around this top. And I might have enough to join that with with what I have left now. Over. Good thing about crochet, you just rip it out and redo it. <laughs> as long as you hadn't weaved in your ends. And I like taking weenies. I craved orange juice with one of my pregnancies. I drink almost a pitcher a day. Fried bologna with me. Oh, Miss Vicky, what you talking about? Y'all make that fruit dip. It's so Elizabeth, I am. I'm going to get a thing of that fluff and some, I got some cream cheese. I'm going to get a thing of that fluff and I'm going to add it to it because I love it with uh, grapes. I love it with some grapes. Because that's what that fruit dip is that I get at Walmart is cream cheese. Or it has cream cheese in it. All right, now. Yeah, that's better now. Perfect. Yes. Hmm. We're going to see. I'm going to go up underneath this. up here and I'm just going to pull it tight I'm doing this next single crochet underneath that next slip this is what gets my hands right here let me wrap that around my pinky to make it tight And you don't have to go very do too many stitches to attach it. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Lord, it's done fell on the inside. 
Let's see. I'll go a couple more. Now, if this is too much on your hands to do, you can definitely just sew it on there. I probably won't crochet with cotton. Nothing that I need to do tight, tight stitches with for about a week now. I'll still be able to do the bags, though, because those are loose stitches. All right, I think that is good. Yep. So now I'm going to chain one. And pull that through. Yes. And because it's over here, just turn your cup. If you want it to be on the back side on the solid part, just turn your cup. Now, we got to make our, we got to put our button on. And you want it in the front. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. Now, if you want a shortcut, you can hot glue. You can hot glue it, but I'm going to sew it on. I'm just going to take that out. And I'm going to use my yarn. And I love this needle right here. It's a blunt tilt. And the eye's big. And it goes through most of my buttonholes. It goes through most of them, not all of them, because I do have some tiny, tiny buttons. So we're going to put this right here. And I like to start in the back and come down. And then I take my tail and I tie a knot. Now, see, if that was Lily Sugar and Cream, it would have broke. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back through it a couple of more times. I really go through it until it gets hard for the, the needle to go through the eye. And I like the blunt needle because I don't have to worry about poking my finger with a very sharp pointy, pointy needle. All right. And then I take this and do another knot. And I pull it tight. And then I cut the short end off. I remember this already tied in a knot one time. And then I weave this end in a little bit. Staying on the back side of my button. There is that. Button is on. Now. Well, that ain't right, Jeannie. That don't go in. <laughs> now what we want to do. Is we want to attach here 
and do a chain to go around our button like we did here. And I did sink crochets across, but I'm only going to do one on this one. So I'm going to get my yarn. Actually, I'm going to use a 3.5 hook on this. And I'm going to go here. Now I don't just go go through that just go through that loop and work a slip stitch. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go in between this single crochet and go out and come underneath that loop. That way it has more to hold on to and work a see my fingers are cramping and the yarn split. This yarn feels like it has a wax on it. I'm going to get it, y'all. I promise. It's because I'm trying to do it tight. And then we're going to chain one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to do t ten and see how that. Oh, Lord, I got off on my stitch. I should have put it on there before. Yeah, I need to come over about two stitches. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all couldn't even see that. My hubby loves fried bologna as a kid and still does. Oh, yeah. Well, fried bologna back then was real good because you used to go to the store. And they'd slice it for you. That bologna you getting out in the packages, it ain't worth the flip. It don't even taste like fried bologna. So that is 16. Actually, I can take some out. I just crochet chains and then I put it around my button to see how many I need to do. And now I'm going to go the opposite direction. And do my slip stitch on this side. And then I'm going to slip stitch over to the other side. And that's just going to help secure it a little bit more. And I'm making them tight too. I'm choking them. And then chain one. Cut. And now, I made the other chain too loose 
on the first one I made. That is perfect. There you go. Your pin cushion. That one's just a little more flatter. Whoops. And now I can use it to stick my pins and stuff in. I don't have to worry about it falling through. To the other side. My little one can go right there. So that is how I make a pin cushion. It's better than buying one from Walmart. All right. I got to weave these ends in. I'm going to actually weave these in, y'all. I ain't going to leave them hanging. I'm not going to leave them. Now, I like those needles right here. I got, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. They're actually, um, they're acrylic. I like them, but the eye is, you have to pick which ones you use it with. I like them better than I do plastic ones. I can't stand a plastic one. I have one, but. I don't ever use it. I just have to pick. And these, I'm just going to weave up and down through here. Find my short end. So I'm talking about it, my yarn just slips out of there all the time. Pull it a little bit, cut it that way it hides inside of there. I still got this one to weave in. We're going to do it the same way. Oh, Hershey, what you barking at? Ooh, you pulled that too tight, Jamie. Pull it loose. There you go. You made a dimple in it. Pull it. You could. And there we go. We are done. Done, done, done. I love them colors. Love them. See, it's hitting that cardboard down there. You don't have to worry about it going all the way to the bottom. And we didn't use a whole skein. Almost, but not quite. So you can get one using that out of that. So what y'all think? This one looks a little lopsided.
See, I made that chain too big. You can't do that with this one. I made that chain too big. I love it. <clears throat> I like syrup sandwich, Sandrine says. Blue cheese. Oh, no. No blue cheese for me. What is sar sargum? I don't know what Bod has going on, Carrie. I don't know. I like Miracle Whip, but these are type mayo. Kimberly, that's what I try to ask for lots of typos. My hot dog has to be burnt with ketchup and yellow mustard. Now, I like a, a dark hot dog off the grill. I boil all my hot dogs for a little while to get a lot of the sodium and stuff out of them. And then I put them in the air fryer. And they come out like being on the grill. I hated cucumbers when pregnant, but first crave them. And then, yep, cucumbers. Mama J, me too, but no ketchup. Nah, cute. My kids like peanut butter and syrup on their French toast. Now, Lori, I eat peanut butter on my waffles. Or mini pom-pom. Oh, yeah, mini pom-pom would look cute sitting up there. Yep. But then, well, you can still use the side of it. And you could decorate it with little flowers and stuff if you wanted to. And, you know, whatever you want, what else, whatever you wanted to put on there. You could decorate it. And I like it like it is. But a. Let me see. Let me see, Jinji and my friend. I know my big pom-poms are out there in my shed. I was looking for my little small pom-poms that I was using with the keychains. All my keychain stuff is in that container back there, but they're not. I bet they're in that drawer out there in the shed. But that probably would be cute, a little pom-pom sitting on top of it. Or a little small flower. That might be cute. Put a little flower up there. It looked like a little bud. So that is done, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Now I'm going to remove that and I'm going big. Thank y'all. Line up those seams on the sides. Oh, that seam, that seam running on the side right there, Jen. <laughs> you really can't see the seam in the back. That's it right there. That's the seam in the back. You really can't see it. It looks like part of the V-stitch. But if you make it, send me a picture of it. I'd like to see what y'all do and what colors y'all use. I'm excited. I'll have mother-in-law in town for Mother's Day since my mom is in heaven. We love to spoil her. Oh. Sorghum syrup. Very sweet. I, I lined it up better, Jen. 
see. I had to wait till I sewed all my ends and stuff in. That is great, Elizabeth. That is so sweet. Family makes me happy. Me too. It's delicious, Jenny. I used it for a party and everyone loved it. I'm going to have to try it. Bree sent a picture of hers. Love it. Bree, I love it. That looks good. Them my colors. That looks good. Jenny, make sure the cream cheese is room temp. Then after you blend it, put back in fridge. So easy, inexpensive, and take strawberries up a notch. I sure will. I am going to. I make a delicious dip with cream cheese, sausage, and rotel tomato sauce. Hmm. I'm going to tell you something else that's good that you can use as a dip. <clears throat> a lady made it for a Christmas party at... um at the doctor's office that I used to work at and um you take shoe peg corn not not whole kernel corn but shoe peg corn you take that drain it get all the juice off of it put it in a boiler a pot and put you, depending on how many cans you do, you put either a pack of cream cheese in there or you put two packs. You take that with the cream cheese and um, Rotel dip, uh, Rotel diced tomatoes and add to it. And you don't want all the liquid on the Rotel either in it because it'll get too watery. But you add that in there. And you cook it until that cream cheese melts and stuff. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. And it makes a good dip too, especially with some nacho cheese Doritos. And I'm sure if you added some sausage or something to it, it would make it even better. Good night, Lulu. I know, Elizabeth. We're going to have to find a common meeting place like where we can do that. Ribbon would look cute, too, for the button. Yep, sure would. Bree says, Elizabeth, do you fly into Orlando? Yes, all the time my granddaughter lives there. You know, you were in the same neighborhood as Brenda. Brenda goes through the airport in Orlando to where she used to to go to work. <laughs> um, Karen, it's um uh, the crafter secret, and the color of it is um spring stripe from Hobby Lobby. $2.99, 30% off when they do there. It would, Mama J. It would be a blast. Like a family reunion, yes, because y'all are my family, too. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Elizabeth said, are you selling that pin cushion? I'm buying if you are. I'll send it to you, Elizabeth. Drop that comment, Jeannie. What com Oh, I did, Jen. 
I know Elizabeth, I hadn't ate nothing since this morning. I took me some Eckridge smoked sausage and cut them up and put them in the pot and put me some barbecue sauce in there. And I, I mean, I use Kraft, but I always make it my own. And I added my, my spin to it and I ate them with mashed potatoes. Hey, Dolores G. Yes, bologna from the little store back in the day was the best. Fried is yummy still. And I wanted mine thick. And then I cook it until it bubbles. <laughs> Just this one. And I had this left over. Had quite a bit left. Not, not quite a bit, but had that much left over. Enough you could probably do the bottom out of, maybe. Or the top, at least. The bologna with the red rind on it. The bologna now is just like hot dogs flattened. It's called Spring Stripe. Let me see. Will it pick up on the camera? Spring stripe. Brie, it is beautiful, honey. Yeah, the red line bologna. Fried bologna with mayo. Yep. Oh, yeah, scrambled eggs. And I love... um. Spam, too. And look, Miss Vicky said you used to have spam and scrambled eggs, but it doesn't taste the same either. Nope, it sure does not. Yes, spring strike. Was that the colorway? Yep. Thank you, beach girl. Now, this one is um, Rainbow Roller Skates Premier Hipster Cotton. This was my trial. That's why this one looks so much better. Plus, I've been using this one. So, it's got some wear on it. But, this is Premier Hipster in the color Rainbow Roller Skates. And, I actually like it better with the four-weight Crafter Secret. Thank you, Angela. And this is all done with um, Dollar Tree cotton. Which I don't use it as often as I do this one. But this is all Dollar Tree. Thank you, Renee. This one is Rainbow Roller Skates. Premier Hipster Cotton. And this one is the Crafter Secret. This is what the first one is made out of. This is the Rainbow Roller Skate. Right here. They first started out selling it for $7.99. Now they sell it for $5.99. So, but that's the colorway. And that's the yarn. And there's the name. Rainbow Roller Skates. Good night, Lori. Sure, you can come up and show your remnants. Oh, let me, um, I'll drop the link for you, Sandrine. We can see your remnants, and then I'm going to get off of here. A sparkly pom-pom. I'm going to see what I can find. Thank you, Jane. You could put your butterfly stitch marker on top. Yes, actually, 
that's what I was. Let me put my stitch markers that Miss Diane sent me here and show y'all how you can do it. Lord, I always have a hard time getting these things out of these packages. This is how I, how I do the stitch markers on it. I'm going to let you up, Sandra. Oh, Lord. Let me find one. Hi, little. Hi. That's how I do my stitch markers. I hang them up. I hang it off the lip of the bottom one instead of the top one. Because if you're opening it, then your stitch marker is going to be flying everywhere. But if you do it on the lip of the bottom one, it just stays there. I was going to make that tonight, but I came in too late. And I didn't want to start too over. I just wanted to keep watching. But anyway, I, I'll get it done. Okay. Now, when, make I, got it my, solo. when I got my rim next, you didn't have to put me solo though. But when I got my remnant, they marked off 50% and they gave me another discount on top of it. They did the 50% plus, like this one right here, this blue one. See this blue one? Mm-hmm. Okay, it was $7.49, but then they halved the $7.49 to $3 or something. Then they halved it again. Yeah. So, that's how they did yours? Mm-hmm. Oh, Okay. So I ain't pay that much for it. So mm -mm -mm. that's this one. So they got a whole, they got like two or three big bins. So I'm going to go back in there. I got this baseball one. Oh, I like six. that. They had more if you want me, when I go back in there to get you some. I got this for my sister because her three kids play baseball and I was going to make her a bag. I was going to say, was, yeah, that would make a perfect bag for her. Yeah, I'm just going to make the bag going to be this. The outside going to be this. So I'm going to make her a bag. The tote. Her yarn and stuff in when she go. Mm, you can just the, do a bag and do a drawstring. Yeah, with that. And then I got this. I thought that was cute. That's like a little silky. I still like it though. And this one was this amount, but then they marked it down some more. So I think yeah. I paid. I paid half of this price. Should have been half of the six something because it's four nine. It was regular four ninety seven a yard. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, they marked it down. It wasn't half of the six. It was. It was half of the six would have made three something, right? But they marked that down again. So I guess with my discount, you know how you had a discount or whatever. And then I got this black. Shelly, I got your email. I'm gonna get um you'll. Get something sent to you. It'll be sent out tomorrow. And then I got this yellow. And guess what I seen? They had two two Auburn ones. I was like, mm. I touched. I was like, let me put it down before it burn my fingers. Uh, yeah, they had the Auburn. I, I, and then this right here. Oh, I love that. I knew you were going to like this one. I think they have. I'll see if they got another one. Because I'm supposed to be going back in there this week. And this is so yeah, Karen, cute. That would be a good thing too. You could put your hair rubber bands inside of it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, Jeannie gonna like this one. And I seen the happy faces one you had, but I was like, I ain't gonna get that yet. I'm gonna come back. And then I was like, I'm going back and get it because I, I said she, it was kind of pricey, but I was like, I'm gonna go back and get it. It was a Mom lot. Mom Jay's anyway. asking, or is the fabric for the bags V is making? It's for some bags like V making and it's for I'm going to make up my own bags and it's for lining bags. Because when I crochet them, I want to line them. So, but I like Jeannie going to like this this right here. I'm done, Jeannie. I love that. Yeah, so them the ones I got. But I'm going back and I'm going to have some different ones. And if y'all didn't show y'all what I picked up at Dollar Tree yesterday. Oh my lord. And I'm gonna do something with this. Y'all just gonna have to wait and see what it is. But look at this. Made myself solo. Ooh, ain't that pretty? 
Oh, then it got purple in it. Oh, I got to go to Dollar yes, Tree. Yes, ma'am. Purple and teal and yellow. Those. What, and, and what you like got there from Dollar Tree? In a navy. Yes, Dollar Tree. You know my Dollar Tree. And the tree. back it's of stuck. it is like a solid blue. Oh, them placemats. Yes, but I'm going to turn them into something else. Mm -hmm. I and know. I, I bet y'all know what it's going to be. And I bought eight. They had eight of them, and I bought all eight of them. I didn't feel bad for not leaving none for nobody else. I hope when they bought theirs, they had got enough for their table. I'm telling you. <laughs> if not, they're going to be short. They're going to have to go to another Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah, but that is all of them are the same. And they got they butterflies. But yeah, I got something in mind for that. It's going to be cute. I've made tote bags from placemats. Hmm. Oh, Jeannie. Huh. Another thing I've seen that I can't believe, because I ain't never seen this nowhere. And I don't know if you've seen it at JoJo or not. Let's see. Oh, and I got some, um, let me show y'all. Y'all going to be the first to see it. I, I'm going to do a video. But y'all going to be the first to see it. I got to get my crate down here. Now, some of y'all probably have already seen this fabric that I got at Joann's. But. I think that I got at Walmart. Yeah, I did. Lord, I'm squeaking. Look at this big old big twist. It's oh, yeah, it's seen that. 93 yards. I ain't never seen such a thing. All right. Now. You seen it before? Yeah, I seen it at Joann's. Yeah, it's at Joann's, the big size. I'm like, what? Let me find Boy, it. Boy, $11.99, that's a good price. Oh, where is it? Oh, here it is. I found I, this is one of my remnants from Joanne. I think I seen that. I don't know if I seen that one, out, but I think I did. I seen one with like firecrackers, like so the fire, this, one. this has paw prints on it. Oh, I did see what paw prints. And it's but stars and it's red, white, and blue. And the background is navy. Look, I seen one in that color, Jeannie. Not so that this color, what I but found this that paw tree. Look now, now. At my at my at my Joanne's, they got the they got the stars and stuff and the boom like that you talking about like that, but they got it at my Joanne's. They got in the remnants. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to call you when I go back in there. And then uh, they also had this one with butterflies on it. I ain't got no money to be buying all this stuff. I'm telling. You. And then I got this one. I actually got two of these. And y'all remember the watermelon? I seen the watermelon. The but watermelon they, they, fabric. They had it in one little little cube, but it wasn't enough. I don't think that'll go with it, but I'm going to get y'all's opinion and what y'all think. These are scars, which you can use as if you do a um, um, drawstring bag, you can use these scars as your drawstring. Look at this. It'll go with it. Because it, it'll, it'll go with it. And this is the fabric. What y'all think? I don't know. It'll, it'll match. It'll, it'll be something different. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. The watermelon is too red. If they had green, they had blue on the watermelon had blue on it. That'd be that'd be yeah. Red. But I can do a red bag or a blue bag, and this will yeah. go perfect with it. Yes, it or will. I can do a brown bag. Yep. A black bag. I can do all the colors. Yeah, all the colors. So my bags are being crocheted. They are going to be lined, but all my bags that I'm doing are going to be crochet bags. Yeah, um, some, some of mine are going to be crochet. Some of mine are going to be sewed. But my some of my crochet bags are going to be drawstring tops. Not from the crochet either, but from the fabric itself. Yeah. 
<clears throat> and then this was some of the remnants I got. This was, I think, a lot of people's favorite. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. But it was so much to look through. So That was one. This was one. I know it's got pink in it. This was one a lot of people liked it. I got the red and black polka dot. I got the ladybugs because ladybugs are my thing. Oh, Bree, no, I ain't see your peacock ones. I'm going to have to go on your channel. Bree said she had some peacock ones. Ooh. One more thumb. I got a pink and white polka dot. This one I really, really like. I'm going to have to go to my Dollar Tree. It's the bees. And all know, these I are know. cotton. Yeah, I don't mind with cotton number one. I got purple. I can't find no purple. I'm going to look when I go back in. There. I got black polka dot. I didn't see that. And this one right here, I really, really like too. This is like your sea creatures and shells. So this is like a, this reminds me of like a beachy theme. That's so cute. <clears throat> and I really like this one. Oh, did I see any? Let me see. And all this came from Joanne Remnants. I just took the bands off of them the night I showed them. Bree, when I, I go back in there, I'm going to look again. I like this one. I'm going in there this week again. I, I was thinking about my blue lovers and my orange lovers. <laughs> well, if that was the case, you would have got all of them. And I didn't find any green, but I do have material with green, and I like this one. If you were thinking about the blue the blue and the orange people, you could have got that all of them. Oh, no, 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 no. My no, no. <laughs> sewing machine wouldn't even sew the fabric. <laughs> and I like this. I like that, too. And that's all the remnants. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. Did I get this one at Joann's, or where did I get this one from? It's got created on their fat quarter. I think I got it from Joann's. But I love it. It's the trucks. That's cute. I'm going to have to go. When I go back in, I got to look for them, that uh, peacock for brief. But I only got one. So I'm going to have to do something. I'm Well, I'm doing stuff different anyway. So, um... I'm not going to do the same thing that Veronica's doing. Yeah, mine going to be different. But I'm going to look for that for, for Brie. I know Hobby Lobby didn't have any fabric in Peacock. I'm trying to see that I see anything in Joann's and Peacock. Yeah, Joann's do got Joann's do got a lot of uh, stuff. To yes, they at. do because they have extended their fabric department. I got this at Joann's, and it's another one of my favorites. Now I seen one like that, but it was in watermelons. I was gonna pick it up, but then I was like, I don't know about that. I don't know about that price. These were five something, and then I, I got an extra. It might have been five something off of it. I'm gonna have to go back and get it though. I like that watermelon. I already had this. This came from Walmart. This is brown. These are some well, fat, fat quarters I got from uh, Joann's. And no, I didn't get all of the fat quarters. These are the ones fat. I got from Walmart, Jeannie. Uh-huh. This is navy blue, green, and gray, and white. Or cream color. And this is... Like a teal polka dot. Mm -hmm. I got three of these. 
And these are butterflies. Yeah, I ain't seen that like that. You really, their back quarters were not organized at all. And then I got, I couldn't pass these up. These were just too darn Oh, yes. I miss Hancock fabrics. Now, that was, that was it. There's a Hancock in, um, Prival or Montgomery. Or have they closed oh, down everywhere? Look, mine, mine was right there with Joanne's at now. I got that blue. Oh, I got my, one of my, so, so, well, that's where I got my, one of my sewing machines from. Most of mine are gonna be for linings. Well, all most of all mine, but there is a couple of things that I'm gonna do with them that's not gonna be um crochet. And I got this blue, the paisley. Some, uh, what you call kerchief, 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 or whatever. You know me a head red for mine. <laughs> There's some purple. Yes. I'm gonna have to look for them. There's there. some more purple. I feel like of my own heart. Here's some more butterflies. A girl after her own heart. <laughs> <laughs> and this is for my orange lovers. I like orange. And this one. They didn't have a lot of orange. I wanted something that wasn't just solid orange. Mm -hmm. You know, something that I could add color to and make it vibrant and alive. And Dollar Tree actually has some ribbon on sale. Not on sale. They actually had some decent ribbon. And I did get some of them. But I'm going to show y'all what else I got and tell you what you can do with it. And this is not my idea. This is somebody else's idea. And I seen it on um, Pinterest, I believe. Is where I got this idea. Well, yeah. I got the idea from this girl on Pinterest. Who does a lot of Dollar Tree DIY hacks and stuff? And if you don't follow Ooh. people like that on Pinterest, Miguel said he's been waiting on you to show something with chickens on it. Oh, I got you, Miguel. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Miguel. I got you, baby. Oh, make me some bunnies. I ain't forgot about my farm, my 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 farm people, cause uh, honey, I'm just shy of the the animals because I'm country all the way, honey. Me too, baby. Born and raised in Alabama. Give me my animals. I, I wanted pigs and chickens and everything else, but my husband, no. Nah, no. Nah. Now, these I got at Walmart. And y'all know who I got them for. Anchors away. And this I got at Walmart. Oh, Lord. Here you go, Miguel. And this ain't the only one I got either. I got another one. This one I had to get from Joanne's. I think. Look at that, Miguel. There you go, Miguel. There you go. A moo moo here and a quack quack there. Here moo there, quack everywhere, quack quack. <laughs> I thought about you. I thought about Ronell. I think I got this one at Joann's. Yeah, you got that one at Joann's. I remember you showing it the other but day. I got a different one at Walmart. And a moo moo here and a quack and quack moo -moo here. <laughs> and I got this at Dollar Tree. The nautical. Yep, e e i e i o. I already had this black fabric. I I have way more fabric than what I what I could find. I think I gave my fabric to Chase, and then these little square pieces from Timu. But I'm gonna do something with them. I'm gonna go on Timu and look for me some fabric. 
girl, and make sure you read it. But the DIY Dollar Tree hat. Now, I didn't get the um, paper towel holder because they didn't have none. But you take one of their paper towel holders that's made like this. Mm -hmm. And you buy four of the napkin rings. And you put them along the back and the front of, you know, because it's, it's kind of wide and flat. Mm -hmm. You put these back to back on it and you zip tie it together. Mm -hmm. And it will hold puff paint or other stuff through here. Mm -hmm. Or different kind of paints and stuff. Mm -hmm. It'll hold through there. I said it might be good for spices. It will. So, I don't do puff paint and everything. So, I got four of those, but I got to get the hair tie hold. And this is the ribbon. And you got them at Dollar Tree. Huh? You got them at Dollar Tree. Uh, Dollar Tree. Okay. And they had it in a purple. I'm talking about the, uh, the little green thing. The napkin holders? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Dollar Tree. So that was her hack. And I got this to go with the nautical stuff. Ooh, cute stuff. And this one says, meet me by the sea. And it's got shells and stuff on it. Ooh, nice. And then this one has a fox and coffee and different stuff like that. I said I could do a bag with browns and teals. And you mm -hmm. it go with that orange one, that orange one you had too down. Uh-huh. So And I, I'm I'm gonna do something else with the um ribbon too. Now Miguel, let me show you the other chicken stuff I got. Oh, also this at Joanne's was marked down to seven dollars and something, but then they marked it down more than that when I checked out. It holds you three. Yeah, I seen that at Joanne's. So I ain't pick it up, but I probably need to. Because I got thread everywhere. I'm just gonna pull that one out and show Miguel. I'm so happy you didn't get that little that little small sewing machine because you would be mad at yourself for that. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I wasn't getting that little small sewing machine. That thing is a hunk of junk. That's something for a little kid for real. I don't even see it in this tote. What in the world? I have the paper towel holder. Wow, my schemes are gone. All right. Spin triple. Spin triple. What would we do without our Dollar Tree? Mine sucks. Well, the new one probably don't suck. No, nope. I've been in new one one time, but the old one suck. Well, Miguel. Good night, Breezy Bree. Good night, Bree. It's got to be in one of them totes down there on the bottom, and I'm gonna have to move stuff to get to it. But now a hundred thumbs. I got some chicken. Um. Some more chicken ones, but it's in blues. Spend triple at other places. Yeah, now some things, though, at Dollar Tree is not really worth the money. Mm -mm. 
Because yeah, in the bag, how about, come out of the hell that chicken time? stuff thinking of y'all? And myself too, because I like the country thing. My um my living room pretty much in barnyard red. Yes, Bree, there's a hundred thummies. We got a hundred thummies. What? Yeah, girl. Y'all having a big farm. I know, because it was when Bree said, I mean uh Gina said. It was 97. Can we get three more? Then they finally got the three more. I'm using a two millimeter and lace yarn to make an area rug for my miniature craft room. First time crocheting this small. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> All I can say is, whoa. I hope my baby knee be good. I hope it knee be good too, because that looked disc that looked nasty. And he wasn't gonna go to the doctor. Oh. I love you. I just Ooh. seen a picture that somebody sent me. You know who I'm talking about. I know who you're talking about. Oh, somebody on on the uh, on your channel on your live yeah one of my bush dwellers mm. <laughs> now I'm off to bed love you all good night wicked granny good night granny come on mm. Miguel won what congrats Miguel congratulations Miguel don't need no more yarn he, well he said he need more yarn because he only got one skein which we know that was a tell. Who Miguel said he needs more yarn. He said he said he only got one skein. Now Miguel, you didn't use all that yarn you got in your lean too. <laughs> that no, one time wife. he said he had so much yarn, he gonna start start taking his pots and pans out the cabinet, throwing them away, and using that for yarn. Jim, where you sent it to? If you send it to YFS or any of them, I got to go over here on the computer and see it. Congrats, Miguel. Good night, Sunita. Sunita said it's past her bedtime. Yeah, it's, it's getting time for me to. We love you too, uh, Jenny. Jenny Jen. I know you said that a long time ago, but it wasn't too long. A few months ain't a long time ago. I see we got some pictures on YFS pics, y'all. I'll put them together. And we'll show them on the next live. Jen, where you send the email to? If you were talking to me. Baby, uh, Jen, oh, Jen. It hasn't came through yet, Jen. Jen, I don't know how you do that drive to Mo Mobile, but you ain't had to do yours back to back. I have done it back to back, though. Oof, I'm telling you, it killed me. Every time I sit down for a long period of time, like on lay down on the bed or something, and I get up, my body hurts so bad. Miguel, I've sent you something before, so. I should I should need your address. I think I'm going to the post office and everything I got that gotta be and sent see, out, out. That's why you need to do that Amazon wish list, Miguel. So I can just go on your wish list and order you something off of Amazon that you want, whether it's for your chickens or not, because I don't care. <laughs> yep. Sandrine, guess what I found Saturday? What? Was that Saturday? One day, Friday might have been Friday. Friday, we was on the live. We, we went to um 
we went to um Sam and my husband needed gas and Walmart was backed up so he went on down and the other stores was like 30 and 40 cents higher than Walmart gas so we went on back up and <clears throat> little store in front of um a little shopping center was two ninety nine a gallon. Walmart was two ninety seven. So he pulled in there to get it. I said, "You want something to drink?" He said, "Yeah." So I went in the store to get us something to drink. They had three bags of Jolly Rancher Cinnamon Fire Candy. I bet y'all love that. And that you know they wasn't the big bags. They were just a little you know. Yeah. I bought all three bags. You hear from your husband? No, I ain't had them from him. He was with me. <laughs> I would have just been like, I ain't got really got nothing else in this bag. <laughs> Jen, the last email I got on Love Everything Crochet was from Bree at 9.34. Let me check all mail. Make sure it ain't go elsewhere. So spam. Right. Whoa, $4.29 for gas? Ours is two ninety seven, two ninety nine. Now, some places is three something, but y'all, well, she's in California. Oh, okay. That's why. Mm mm, Jen, it ain't came through. Check your scent folder, Jam. Jam. <laughs> Jen, check your scent <laughs> folder. <laughs> Who I thought I was the only one. The last one. email I got was from Bree. We are 323, 369 in Florida. Miguel paid 291 for gas today, and he's in Texas. Well, I'm shocked. Yeah, it's 290. It was 297, whatever day we filled the truck up. Had to be Friday. Yeah, I usually go to Walmart. So. No, we went to when we went to Montgomery. That was Friday. We went Friday, didn't we? Yeah, because you came on the live. It's supposed to be your live, but I went live and we stayed on there. And then you showed us some of your remnant. Well, showed us your that's remnant. right. That's right. That was Friday. We went to Montgomery. So that had to be Thursday. We filled the truck up. Oh, we didn't go nowhere Saturday. I'm going to see. When next time I go it was to supposed the, to rain. Next time I go to the gas station, I'm going to see if they got any. Bugles have a new cinnamon ones. They are so good. Cinnamon bugles? No, thank you. Wrong one of them. This is what you need right here. I like the ranch bugle. Miss Vicky, they are at 349. Doritos in a can. Sorry. Doritos in a can. They are so small and biteable. Just what out? <clears throat> I'm sitting here now trying to think what um what I'm gonna eat. Look at what they look like. Aiden like them. He, he thinks he's just eating so much that he has. Look, see how little they are? Snack size. Jen, is that I got them for him, eat? but I ended up eating the most of them. Is that an owl? Or what is that? You just laid that on something red or. Ooh, beat, beat girls today at 429 New York. Ooh. Text me and tell me what that is, Jen. Oh, I did. I have had the cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon and sugar bagels. I think I've beat, had the cinnamon and sugar, them other bagels. things, the, the chiruas or whatever they call. They supposed to be like the things you get from the Cheros. Yeah, the Cheros. I had a cinnamon one, bugles. I like whatever that is, Jen, but oh, that's your table runner. Okay, made out of the, the um clothesline. I blew the picture up, Jen. Hot pads with the clothesline rope. Yes, 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 yes. Let me show them to everybody else. And that makes some pretty stitches, too. All right, Jenny, don't do that. You know what your phone's going to do. Ooh, pretty. It is, and that makes some pretty stitches. Mm -hmm. 
What size hook did you use? You know that clothesline rope with 100% cotton be good. Um, yes, Mama J, they would. And guess what? They're going to get used because I'm going to start back working on my mosaic blankets. <laughs> Stop. She used a almost a word to on my crochet hook. Wow. That's a it's big almost a Hmm. It's almost a cuss word for me because I ain't pick up my blanket in a minute. I'm so here on the bed though. But that clothesline, hundred percent cotton. Time out. That would be good to use for um macrame for making that um, the hanging flower pot basket covers. That would work real good with that too. Yeah, head on the road. Oh yeah, he in Texas. Oh, okay. He in Gainesville. Gainesville, Texas. He delivered in um Suffer Springs today. Well, he went to he started out in Winsboro, Louisiana, then went to Faraday, then went to Natchitoches, Louisiana, and then he went to Texarkana, Texas. Then he went to um Texarkana. A long to way to go. And a short time to get there. And let's see. Hear about that. He is picking up in Gainesville, Texas in the morning, going to Grand Coteau, Louisiana. Ooh. Grand Coteau, Louisiana. Grand Coteau. Grand Coteau, Louisiana. You ever heard of that before? And no, but it's down there around Lafayette. Oh. Good night, Miss Margie. Oh, I bet, Jen. Um, Nancy says she bought some craft cord at Hobby Lobby on clearance. Download a pattern for the hanging planters in a crochet pattern that mimics macrame. Hmm. Does anyone know where to get a mosaic crochet of a head of a cow? <laughs> you might can look on um, Etsy. Miguel said he's 61 miles from Sulphur Springs. Yeah, he loads a lot in... Um, Flowery branch and stuff like that up there, too. But he's loading out of Gainesville in the morning. Try it, because I'm going to get fish on y'all. I'll look and see if I can find one, Miss um, Vicky. Sandy, what you barking at? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think I ran over the cow head, but I got so many patterns. Like, I might have one in there. I ain't no telling. Because I got so many of them. Lord, have I deleted the darn email? I got one of a slow. I got one of a slow. I ain't did it yet, though. I got one of fish and chickens and and who knows what else. I can't remember. I know I don't have one of a chicken. Yes, you do. <laughs> I mean, not a chicken. I don't. I know I don't have one of a cow head. Not of a cow head, but a chicken you do. Um. Yeah, I ain't seen that little cow. I 
They got one of an elephant. Yeah, I got the elephant. Yeah, I got the elephant. Um, I got one of a penguin. Uh, I'm gonna have to look. I I don't think I got that up a cow though. Got one of of a bee. Bees. Uh, that ain't it. I must have deleted that. Lord, let me go find it because I need that. What you need? Obviously, an email I deleted. Or my husband deleted it one. I don't oh, even sure. I can pay shipping if you want to take them off the cone. Take what off the cone? What do? How much you want for them? What we'll brand of hook? Oh, for she's talking free. about those bobbins. For you, for you free, or oh, clover for floral pearls. Okay, that would be great. My son's stepdaughter is crazy about cows. Oh, he Ooh, just wow. went from Takes Her Canada to Sulphur Springs. Beach Girl says, I'm not sure how to exchange info. Not doing it on here. Idea, maybe Jenny could be our exchange. Even if. If, I mean, if that's what you want to do, you can send me your information, Beach Girl, and Jen can send me hers. Well, I got Jen's, and then I can send it to each other. I look too Vicky because. Oh, and you know what? That would be good if you could find just the face of the cow or something, and you can make a pillow. Then you can make a blanket. Yep. And you could just actually just do the, the mosaic part of the cow face across the bottom of the blanket and then just do the solid part of the blanket and then go back with it at the top. Like in the middle of mine, I don't put elephants, I'll put roll tie, then I'll put elephants. Jen said that's fine. Beach girl love. And let me put my email on there for you. Right there. Um, or it would be good if you could find the cow head and then find the cow pattern and do the rest of the blanket in the middle with black and white spots, you know, the cow spots. Mm, I think I did see something. I might have seen the cow print. Let me take a look at rivalry right quick. Let me go to it down here. On my phone. Y'all got time. <laughs> Y'all got time. We searching. We on a mission. I'm about to find. I'm about to look on Etsy. Mosaic cow pattern. <gasps> I did find one. Did you? Let me pull it up. Let me share my screen, y'all. See. You 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 asked the both the two mosaic princess. Well, you know, I'm still doing did it. See, see that? that? Oh yeah, I did see that cow. That's why I kept saying I seen a cow. Look, Miss Vicky. That's so cute. Look at the daisy cow. Oh, I want that. I'll that put that right that, on my mosaic that, that I'm working so on right adorable. now. I seen the little look. one up there, Jeannie. That's the one I seen up there. Look at that one. Well, that's the one I seen, the little one. So, Miss Vicky, I'm going to show you the ones that you got. So, the first, we're going to say number one. This one's number two. And you let me know which one you want the link to, and I'll drop it for you. And this is number three. And they even got a full body cow. Ooh, That'll be number four. Animal cows. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. 
Oh, look how cute. Ain't that cute? Miss Vicky, if you go on Ravelry, just type in mosaic cow pattern. I love this one though, the daisy cow. And this that is one the too. cow print, what I was talking about. Yeah, I told you I seen something like that. Wait, that ain't got no price on it. Published in Etsy. Oh, so you got to go to Etsy to get that one. $8.50. Oh, heck no. You probably can find that on YouTube. <laughs> Cow Mosaic Square. Here's another one, Miss Vicky. I don't like that one too much. I don't like that one too much either. Look like they ain't know what they were doing. They were That's testing something out. Game. That gotta be for free. A <laughs> dollar twenty-five euros. Well, uh, it ain't even worth that much. It's out of that one, right here. That's the one I seen. Look, this one right here is four ninety-nine on um uh, on Etsy. That one you showed with the or this one right here. That one over there. Cow. This one. This one. This one on Etsy. This pattern is a decorative wall hanging, though. So I will still make out a uh and see the cow print on the side. See, I make it out of a blanket. I bet you I put it in a row. Let me see. All she need is the um. Uh, all she need is the is the graph. Get the graph. You can. You well, does this do pattern style. come in English? Because all that. Yeah, ain't English. English. She better do that one if she get. Let me see. Okay, Jeannie. This one right here is three thirty. Three dollars and thirty cents on Etsy. This one called the nosy cow. <laughs> that one's four dollars and something on Etsy. I like it though. It's cute. Okay. I ain't falling back into the rabbit hole of it's three seventy five on here about four ninety five. Yeah, it's four ninety five on. Um, so that's a baby blanket or throw. Yeah, but if she just want this and she can go keep going, if she's doing a big blanket and she's going row by yeah, row. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can make it whatever size you want. Yeah, but that is too darn cute. That is too cute. Look at the happy birthday sign. Ain't that cute? That's mosaic. Mm -hmm. It's just a like crochet. That might be where you change out the colors. I don't do. I don't do. I don't do that. I don't do graphs. Look at the pillar. See how they turned that into a pillar? Mm -hmm. Ain't that cute? And they got the cow. <clears throat> the cow. Stuff around it. So either Etsy or robbery. And just type in mosaic. Oh, cow that's a bull. I was gonna say here go one, but that's a bull. Look at that. Oh yeah, Chicago Bulls or something like that. That would make a good blanket for Chicago Bull lovers. Got a horse. Jeannie, look at this. I might have to use this, Jeannie. Look at this. Bestie. All right. I got um your information, Beach Girl. Bestie, look at this. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Like it. Like it. 
Lucky, lucky. <gasps> Look at this one, Miguel found. And this is this is a corner to corner graph gan, but it's I'm telling you, look at this it. elephant, little girl. What elephant? Right here. Ooh, roll tied all day, every day. Yeah, baby. Ooh, I like that one. That's a graph gan. I ain't about that life. Yeah, I I ain't got to that point yet, and I like this one right here too. But it's a graph pattern as well. But it's a cute cow. It is. I ain't about that lie. I'm bad about my. Those are on Etsy. Thank you, Miguel. See everybody joining. This is a genie. This is a. Oh, that's print. the one. Look, that's the one Miguel sent me. Yeah. Look, this is a. Oh, this is this is a cow print. Now, Miguel, that says the Texas one. all day, every day. It's got the stars, the the wagon wheel, the bull, the boots, yep. you the see cowboy this? hat. <laughs> this is this is a uh, mosaic. Yeah, that is mosaic. That's that's the eight, one I was showing on Ralvary. Eight dollars and fifty. Yes, cents. that's too high. And you're welcome, um, Gen Genevieve. You and Jen Jen both. I don't mind being a mediator. <laughs> A media. Your information Ooh, is one, safe with pretty. me. Look at this giraffe. I'm sending it to Jen now. Look at this giraffe. Anybody like giraffe? Oh, that's a giraffe. Oh, I see the giraffe in there now. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, now that one is, yeah. Now my first, um, not my first, my son's first child, Devion, his um their baby shower theme was the safari theme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't do corner to corner graph scans either. Well, now if it's only one color, like the black and the white, I could probably do that. But when you go to talking about changing out all them darn colors. I ain't, about to do I ain't about that life. Me neither. I ain't about that life. I am not about that life. I look, sure. look, if they told us the only thing we could crochet were graph gains, I would never crochet again. I would be done with crochet. I sell all y'all this yarn. <laughs> I pack up all this yarn and send it to y'all. Look at this squirrel for Granny D. You just D. pay for shipping. Look at this squirrel for Granny D. Oh, yes. That's Kurt. Mm, 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 mm. I ain't looking for nothing but elephants. I ain't looking for no. <laughs> I thought I found this cow. Me and Jean. I got a whole big old binder full of mosaic patterns. Me too. I ain't mine still on email. I, I got to use all my paper and my ink printed out. Just. Be uh, Beach Girl said that giraffe is great. I'd do that. Rabbit holes. <laughs> rabbit holes go deep. Yes, they do, Jen. And I'm not falling back in no rabbit holes. <laughs> they run deep, baby. No, 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 no. Well, I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick my baby up. I'm gonna pick my baby up in a few. Look at this days. rabbit hole. And this right now one. Yeah, I got better than many patterns too. Look. No, I tell you, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick this back up in a couple of days. It's on time out. It's on time out right now. I got all of them in sheep protectors. I got all of Tina patterns. I think that she ever came out with. I got them all labeled by the designer. Uh-uh, Miguel ain't doing that either. I ain't doing no stuff. I remember doing just the different patterns. This There's the squares line. together. Look at this one. When did I? When I did the cow blanket for the crib with the cow head. I love those owls. 
it was corn and corn. No more corn and corn. I got that one in mind. Like. Something else. I like this one too, called Shell. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's a beach thing. Yeah. And I should have not bought none of these until I did. I got, of course, Butterfly. Butterfly, uh uh, that's old. Let me see. You just that's just roll. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that Tootsie Roll. So, you know what happened? I got big minded too, but I ain't jump out there like her and be doing two or three of them at a time. Mm -mm. It was yeah, one. See, I even got all the alphabets. I got the alphabets too. I got a rug. I got autumn mosaic blanket where you can do different autumn themes. I got a lily backpack crochet pattern that's mosaic. Miguel says she, he think I should I rather do the pants so sewing the squares together than doing the corner to corner grab game. No, I'd rather do the grab game. I got some fillet blankets. I got one that says little princess on it. Did a Dino Monster High bear dog? They were not bad. I got panda. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star one. And I got. Whoa, Sweet Jeannie, Queens. you must have over 100. <laughs> she got a lot of them. Miguel. I got over 100 too, but I didn't jump out there like they did. We're doing three and four blankets at one time. One blanket, I'm finished. Start on the next one. And Finn, I even have a safari blanket. Oh, that's cute. That's done in um fillet crochet. Now, I can do fillet. Fillet is easy to do. Hmm. Fillet crochet. Oh, I I started on one at night. I pulled that junk loose. I said, I ain't about this life. And there is my bee that I made, my bumblebee. Oh, that's cute. Oh, my grandbabies have done put in their orders, honey. And this is Princess Trots a lot, which is a, a rel replica of the Mr. Purrs a lot. But this is Princess Trots a lot, which is a unicorn. Oh, that's cute. So I'm going to make my grandbaby one of them. She loves unicorns. But Kinsley and Kendall have put in an order for a bag. Mm -hmm. I even have a big crib mobile. That's cute. So. Yeah. I have to stay off of rivalry and Etsy unless it's free. <laughs> Because I got one, two, three, four more binders up here. Plus, I have patterns in, in clear totes. I'm just saying. Mine's still in the email. I ain't print them all out. The ones I did print out, my sister got. Some of, some of them are free patterns now. Yeah. But I do have a lot of pay for patterns. Now, one of these binders house my main mosaic patterns that I really, really like. I have to go to bed. 5.30 a.m. comes fast. Good night, Miguel. Oh, I even found one of this. Mm -hmm. Look what Bigger said. That's cute. Yeah, Miguel, I'm fixing to get off too, and I need to find me something deep. I'll be right back. Well, I already ate. Took my painkiller for this back, this body pain from driving four hours down and four hours back. 
without no help. So, and that was Sunday. No, that was Saturday. And my body still hurts. Every time I get up to go use the bathroom, go get something to drink, anything. Every time I get up, my body hurts, y'all. I got this heating pad on. And, and I'm going to have to put my ceiling pan on because last night I was having a night sweat. And I ain't had to have no heating pad on. And I slept without my fan on and I got hot. I have night sweats, hot flashes, or whatever you want to call it, but it was night sweats. And it made me have bad dreams. Well, I have night sweats. I can't get no relief. I have bad dreams, y'all. It's crazy. Yes, all that driving, Miguel, all that driving one way. Four hours there, I drove. I stayed down there because my niece graduated. Uh, she got her, she graduated from college with a 4.0 GPA. And she got her master's. And I drove up there. Then we get out the car. We got to walk so far up to the building. Walked up to the building. Then you got to find a place to sit. Had to go upstairs so far up the steps almost to the top to find some seats then sit down i'm out of breath and i was supposed to be doing all that so the doctor got me on not doing a lot of walking because it hurts me and i can't then i gotta walk back down all them carefully and then find her after she graduated then they won't take pictures and stand around i had on high heels well not high heels wigs it was so uncomfortable. And when we got through taking pictures, I took them wedges out and I walked through the school with no shoes on down the sidewalk. When we got to the street where the rocks was, I put my shoes back on and walked on to the car. It was a hot mess, y'all. It's a hot mess. That's all I know. Snowman was snowman for a first grandbaby and a turtle one okay make love making those oh okay you eat your back and sciatic nerve yes it is my back and my sciatic nerve i'm telling y'all it got my whole my whole body hurt i'm gonna eat me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and drink me a bottle of water do your thing and uh it's got my body hurt baby four hours Woo. that voltaren cream is good um, we, that voltaren cream i can't use that because it got aspirin in it it's it's good yeah it does have aspirin in it i can't use it. i'm allergic to aspirin y'all i can't use that so but i got some i got muscle relax and i got these pills from you know the peer the pills we got from the um what's carl told us about Oh yeah, uh, uh, the formula, the formula three, three thousand, whatever they call. I'm trying to see if that. No, this ain't there. I was gonna show it to y'all, but they in this drawer here. But my doctor got me some muscle relax, so they help. And they help me rest, cause if not, I won't be able to go to sleep. I'll be up in here in pain all night, sitting up here looking like watching TV or trying not to hurt. So that's what God I got. I have just I I just have to take Tylenol every day because of my back. Yeah, my pills I'm supposed to take me three times a day. Wow, my hips has been hurting. So I told to do work. Yeah. Yeah, it do work good. Yeah, I mean, yes. I'm still here. Thank you, Beach Girl. I, yeah. When um, I wake up in the morning time. I have to get my body moving because my my it's like every joint is painful and don't want to move. Yes. Well, I don't have it. I don't, well, certain certain days I do, 
But if I like right now, I've probably been sitting here listening to Jeannie, probably like because I had to get up and go get me something to eat, and then I got something to eat around nine. And I ate. And when I got up to just go get something to eat, I could barely walk in the kitchen. And then I, I started like, sweeping and my back starts burning. Yes, my doctor told me no sweeping, no mopping, and no washing, no dry clothes. I'm like, well, who gonna do it? Who gonna do it if I don't do it? Just just to work too hard for to be doing my washing my clothes and, and washing the dishes and stuff. He he worked all the time. So who gonna do it? I just had to suffer through it. But the remote bed do work, so I can't say that. Good night, Kimberly. We said same time. Is that for muscle or bone? Muscle. It's for muscle. What the Voltaren cream? Oh, the, I don't know what the but I don't know what that's for. I think it's for muscle too. Ain't the Voltaren cream is for muscle and arthritis pains. Yeah. Wait, let me see if I can find that pill. What's called told us to buy? Is that it? Dope. That's my CD. I just seen them here. I'm trying to find it. It's in this, it's in this drawer. I don't, I don't know what. But it's called, um, I think it's called Formula. But it's a it's a muscle relaxer. It's all natural. It's called Formula. Formula 300. You got it. You get them at Amazon. Let me look it up right quick. So Mommy J say, does your bed heat and vibrate too? It don't heat, but it do massages. It do. My recliner heat and vibrate and massage, but my bed, it we it just lit up and down the head of the bed. It don't massage or none of that. Yeah. Mine's massages. The feet and the head got two buttons. And then and uh I got a heat pad. I ain't really need I didn't want the heat part of because uh I had hot flashes. Who wanna be hot? I won't be cold. I was trying to find the remote. It's on the bed too. Oh the remote is somewhere on the bed. Y'all clean my bed off so I can't hardly find it. I can't find my scissors. They probably in the cover. That I took all, but let me find this this uh this all natural medicine. Uh, so y'all can see it. When I tell you them things work good, they work real good. So, well, I need to order some of them. They work real, real good, Jeannie. Yeah, you everybody need to order some. <clears throat> When I tell you, they are awesome. I'm almost through with mine. I need to order some more. I said, if I keep on, I'm going to have to find me some Granny D gummies. <laughs> now, I ain't lying. It's Formula 303. That's what they call. Formula now, 303? Just the ones I got right here. They at Amazon. Now they don't have the best smell, but I ain't think I ain't thinking about no fit smell. I'm thinking about feeling better. See, natural, relaxing. I got some they right here in this drawer. But like I said, I cleaned out my bed, so it's got uh the veter what you call it, vegetarian root. Mm-hmm. And that's why it makes it smell like that. But it's for Muscle spasms, that's what I've been having, y'all. Muscle spasms. Tension and stress. Formula what again? 303. And this is maximum strength. And baby, I'm going to tell you, it's awesome. It is awesome. Golly, 46 dollars on Amazon. Yeah, you got to get that one. I got the one that was twenty $24.99. Oh, they got one on here for 17. Oh, yeah, I got the one for 17. 
So I tried them first, but now when I go back and buy my refill, I'm gonna get a big a bigger one. So I I won't get the forty six, but I will get the oh that's two hundred and fifty counts. What the forty six? Forty six. Yeah, two hundred fifty count. Oh, oh, uh, what? Nana Michelle got two hundred fifty count. She said she wanted, it. <laughs> but I got the ninety count. For I think I paid. Oh, I paid the seventeen dollar one. But anyway, seventeen twenty four, whatever you it was. Forty five count. I think I got the forty five count. But next what time I go, the seventeen dollar one. What it say on the bottle? How many in the bottle? I think I got this one right here. Hold your bottle up again. I just the one I got. Oh, you don't you 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 can't find your bottle. Okay, that's the one for 17. Yeah, that's the one I got for 17. Natural relief really for wow. muscle spasm, tension, and stress. Homeopath. I need that in my life. I'm telling you, everybody needs. I've been telling everybody to get. What you about Twelve oh. years of age and older. Take as directed or as directed by your doctor as a muscle relaxant. Two tablets every three hours until relief is obtained. Then two tablets with each meal and two at bedtime. As a relaxant, two tablets with each meal and two at bedtime. Ooh. I've been telling everybody about it. Let's see. Now, what I ain't looking for, I find it. And they write, they write it. Made in White House, Tennessee. But that's what I get, y'all. They might be over here on the side of the bed. I ain't going to tell you. When I clean it up, I throw everybody everywhere. I tell y'all what. I, I uh, Another crochet told me about it. What's her name? Uh... uh she come on on. Did she come on today? She come on Friday. She come on. Yeah, she came on today because she come on. She come on one day after Ursula. I think it was it's today. Then she come on Tuesdays. What's her name? Who? Laura with Crojo? Crojo. Crojo Corner. Yeah, Crojo. I couldn't say her name too. She the one told me about it. That day she told me about it. That's the day I ordered them. And good night, um, Beach Girl. Huh? I was telling Beach Girl good night. Good night, Beach Girl. Now, will y'all get off here? I'm gonna find them pills, and I'll be like, there go them pills right there. I'm trying to eat these little crumbs up, but I'm eating these for the night. It, uh, I was trying oh, to find my remote. Sciatica care. Huh? Sciatica nerve soothing supplement vitamins with natural RALA formula, 10 times the strength, not synthetic, alpha lipoic acid, lower lumbar sciatica, hip, thigh, leg, and foot. What you looking at? Something on Amazon. Oh, they got a lot of all kinds of stuff. Good night. Uh, but yeah, I, I can start sweeping and my back start burning. And it's going to be one of two things. It's going to either radiate to my right side and go down my leg and my leg going to start cramping or it's going to radiate to the left side and go down and start cramping. No, she didn't. No, Mama J, I haven't. I, need from, to. Uh, I see they still got the the Addy King for 161. Now you can get the Centro from Timu. I just ordered my mama one. She swears she want one, but that thing gonna go to the website. She better pay me my money back. Why well, ain't give her one of yours to see if she was gonna like it? <laughs> no, cause she was gonna like it, then she ain't gonna want to give it back. I don't got number one um Centro. And that's the 48 pin. No, Mama J, I hadn't replaced my Centro yet. I had two. I you had a 41 and a 48 one. And I gave the 48 one 
to my niece and I gave the 41 to Alex, Veronica's son. She ain't gonna replace it. I need to, Mama J, because Kendall and them <laughs> want hats. And she said she wanted a hat like the one that my bear back there is wearing. And I made that one on my Centro. So I got two choices. Buy me another Centro or knit the hats. <laughs> and if you I know knit what? the hat, it'll be next, say, go, it'll be next winter before they get them. <laughs> I say go to Timu because guess what? Yeah, you get a discount code on Timu. I was watching Dawn Yarn Doll on Sandrine's Live Friday. Yeah, we was all there. I ordered with my her hand. electric jammit. I know, but I wouldn't get the jammit. You know what? I don't know. It just, I don't know. I'm just going to get the little piece to go on the side. Since I already got an Addy. I, I mean, Mama J got the jammit too, but I don't want the jammit. I just get that piece on the side. They do the same thing to jammit. And the thing of it is, even though it's electric getting hot. is doing the work for you, you still got to hold your tension the way you want it. No, she didn't have the tension on there. She could have screwed it in and put it on there. It would have been fine. So you ain't got to hold it. She just ain't put it in because she had just took it out the box so we could see it. And Jen said her ass Sandrine to make them. <laughs> now, one of them want one in pink, so Sandrine might not make that one. No, I make it. If the money, look, I'm telling you, I make anything if the money right. If the money ain't funny, I make it. Cause I done made plenty of pink baby blankets, and I got a pink baby dress over here on the side of the bed. If the money right, I ain't funny. I might just order me another one. Go to Timu. How much the are cheaper, they on the Timu? Cheaper. cheaper. Go on there when I tell you. You can put it I up on your computer right now. They're not going to stop texting and emailing and all other kind of crap. They text me. They text me like every day. You're talking to mine on the way. Timo need to partner with me and let me um get some free stuff. Yeah, some people got a link. Some people got affiliate link. Yeah. Get your affiliate link. <clears throat> Okay, Centro Knitting Machine, 52, 48 needles, 52, 48, 50, 98. The 41 is 38, 98. Keep on look, going down. The small one is 23. So 22 needles well, is 21. Do friends. You got that right, Jen, uh, Jenny, Jen, Jen. That's it. I ain't gonna get. The, I ain't gonna get the jam it. Now I want that for eight sixty eight. The I machine. The who? The I cord machine. Oh, the I cord. I guess that's what that is. Let me see. That's what it looks like to me. Yep, that's what it is. And y'all don't order these. <laughs> what is that? A knitting bag. Organize your knitting and crochet supplies with this stylish yarn bag. Hmm. will be having it going on. Mm -mm. I'm going to show it to you. Or my bag with Ursula's. I think it's in this one. Nope, not that one. The Timu. Timu is the best deal. Sandrine, you use your purple one. Yeah, I use my purple one. It's in my butterfly bag. You got it from Timu. I took my butterfly bag to Mobile when I went down there. This what yeah, you got, Timu. I got it from Timu. Look how small it is. <laughs> <laughs> how much it cost? Two dollars. How much you gonna organize? Oh, they wrong for that. <sighs> well, that just for hooks, ain't it? <laughs> no, it's got a hole in the top for you to put your yarn in. 
They for one cake. They're just for one cake. That is cute for one cake, though. It is cute for one cake. Four dollars and something on Timu. But Sarah sent me a link to where I could get 10 free gifts from Timu. Oh, really? So that's how I ended up getting it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then it's collapsible. <laughs> it's cute, though. <laughs> that's unique. The crown my cord machine is better. And Prim iCord machine is high too. Look, it don't matter as long as it do the same thing. I don't care. I ain't buying no Prim or iCord. I'm getting an off brand name. Jen said, Do you use your purple one? Mm hmm. I'm going to look at Amazon and see what it is on Amazon. Yeah. I think I got it cheaper off of uh, Timo. Oh yeah, Centro on there is $64.99. That thing was $30-something dollars when I bought mine. They went up because everybody didn't been getting them. That's why they go that purple one for $65. That's what I paid. But that's the that's the 48. Mm -hmm. I didn't get my mama the 48. I got her the 32 or something like that. If I'm going to pay $70 for a Centro, I might well put 90 more with it and get the Addy. Yep. But the jamming is the jamming is 79 You can get this you can get the jamming. The cheapest I've seen the Centro right now is 48. That's on Amazon. I mean 62.88. What I said 48. The cheap, you yeah. the cheap on Timu. Man, it was it was eighty four degrees. He'll feel like eighty six. The air conditioning, you know, nonstop. I'm scared of knitting. The knitting machine is all you do is crank. It's still doing the same thing. It's still knitting. It's just you ain't got using two needles. Knitting machine drill attachment for Centro adapter. Three quick knit power adapter for Centro. 22, 40, 48 jammed loom crochet machines. Crank handle. Look up the Atla. A I D I L E R. Type that in. For the central, it is. That's what I'm gonna get the Atlas. I'm gonna get one for the central and one for the Addy. Yeah, Now, this says Saley Children's Knitting Machine 48 Needle Loom with Row Counter, Smart Weaving Round, Board Rotating Double, Knit Kit for Adults and Kids, 40 pins. But it says 48 needles. Mm -hmm. And it's got 40 pins. 48 needles is $57.99. That's the cheapest that I've seen it. You talking about that right there? Yeah, that's the same. You just buy a little piece to go on the side. It show you how to work it in there, and everything. Oh, it'll be, it's like, it'll be like just having it, like having to jam it. That's forty dollars. <laughs> they might have. A, I'm gonna see if they got them on. I'm gonna see if they got them on. I TV. know I might well go and buy the Addy King if I'm buy. <laughs> They probably have a sale for Mother's Day. Jeannie, you're so funny. Mama Jay got the Atlas.
Where are you from, Carrie? Australia. Australia. Man, it's another day. It's another. If you're in Australia, that's what what's called it. It's a, it ain't even finna be Tuesday. It about to be Wednesday. It's our probably already Wednesday. Uh, me and Gina in Alabama. These folks done got greedy. Carrie said she in Australia. She over there what what uh Lisa had ain't it? Lisa Nitz. Mm hmm They about to be on Thursday. They already on Thursday. No, they on Wednesday. No, they, they on, on Wednesday. Tuesday. They on Wednesday. Yeah, they on Wednesday. Yeah. <clears throat> and she wide awake and we about to go to sleep. Yeah, they she picking up the kids from school. Oh uh hot -huh, man, and we finna go to bed. It's already Tuesday. Yeah, she's picking the kids up from school and we finna go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's somehow that works. They like for y'all dark darkness for us. She said it's Tuesday, I think. <laughs> oh hot mess. Yeah, it's Tuesday. I'm about to go to Wednesday. By the time we wake up in the morning, y'all be on Wednesday. Mama J, I should have been in the bed too, honey. I'm in the bed, but my pills ain't kicked in yet for me to be. But I ain't lying. I think I can lay down right here for a few minutes and be sleeping. Maybe. But I had to go to Joanne and Michael's today. So I, I need to watch John Boy's video and see he did crochet his hat with that um with the bamboo hooks that he got from Timu. He oh, he okay. he uh was did an affiliate with Timu. Oh okay. How they do affiliates? Just be just email them say I want to do affiliate. I don't know. Now, they Ooh. sent me one a lot when I placed that very first order and I didn't follow through with it. And I must have deleted it because I don't see it now. Yeah. Okay, the 48 needle smart weaving loom is 50.98 on Timu. The 41 is for uh 38.98. I think I got the I think I got the 38.98 one. And then the small one for the like the, I guess the babies and stuff. The twenty two pig is twenty three oh eight. Yeah, yeah that's for the baby head. And the forty eight is fifty oh eight, and the forty is thirty seven ninety eight. So if I get another one, it'll be the forty eight needle. Yep, that's the same time me and Jeannie got. We got 11.30. 11.35. You been on here that time. Oh, she said it's Tuesday, 12.30. Okay. She said, yeah, they finished at 3. It's 2.33 p.m. now. She said, oh, hi, Jen. Jen said, hi, Carrie. All the time y'all been on this live with Jeannie, y'all just not saying hi. It's almost time to say bye. <laughs> I don't know, Carrie. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I got three. And just ordered another one, but it ain't for me. It's for my mama. I mean, I liked my Centro. Now, the Centro don't like all yarn. It don't. It, and it don't either. And they don't like Red Heart Super Saver. Now, I can tell you to add it like certain colors in the Red Heart. It don't like all the colors. I got my loom kit. Why can't you loom? <laughs> you can. I got a loom too. I got I, the circle and the loom. My, my hands won't let me do that no more.
It's twelve thirty where she is. Oh, she Eastern. Those prices can be a lot of yarn. They sound a bit com they not complicated, Vicky. I promise they are not complicated. Uh, they're not complicated. You just weave your you you do your you start it out, you leave a tail hanging down, and I always put a I got some heavy clamps and stuff, and I always put one of them on it. That way as it as it's making it, it weighs it down and pulls it down. Um and I just keep moving it up. And then you weave in all the way around on your first go round. After you do that, you turn it slow for the first couple of times. And then after that, you can just sit there and crank. Yep. It ain't complicated at all. And they got a lot of videos here on YouTube. So you make all sorts of things cardigan, bed spread. I found this tiny, tiny channel called Quinn Tamara. I totally recommend. She's adorable. Mm. The motor for the central hip, it takes all yarn. You just have slow down on the others. Secret I'm going to show. Now, I don't know how tutorial. good these would be. But they some okay looking hooks. I'm giving my finger till Friday. Then I'm going to try crocheting again. What happened to your finger? Cramping. Oh, Arthritis. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Ooh, child, I know about that. Look at this. Here go John Boy, another Tommy the Turtle. Ain't that cute? You can, Mama J. Yes, y'all drop whatever links need to be dropped. Y'all feel free to drop. You don't. That's why y'all my boss. I don't have to ask. Let me get this Timmy lady. But I respect you for asking. But yes, that's fine, Mama J. Ooh, this is pretty, Jean. Look at this. Look at this bracelet. Look at this bracelet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is that on that channel? They dropped. Mm -mm. It's just somebody came up on my feed. That'll make you big so I can see. Wait a minute. Look. No, oh, it's time for me to go to bed. My mascara done dropped down on my face. Oh, I like that. Creations and you. I don't think that is is a chain weave back and forth in different. That's, all, that's what it look like too. Yeah, or unless they put it on a um. Let me see. What? Miss Vicky, just stay away from cotton yarn for a while. And maybe maybe crochet with a big bigger hook. Look how they're doing it. Back with four. That's too much going on. You got to do two on there. Or the one. I like a chain just folded back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I can do that. Yeah. And the only thing to make it stiff, you would take a piece of thread and run through the loops and stuff all the way mm -hmm. through it and around it. I took my hair down, y'all. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
It's my finger. ring finger on my left. I pull the ligaments where the finger attaches to the palm. Oh. Carrie said, I don't get a lot of crochet done while you guys are on. <laughs> well, yeah, if you've been on here ever since the beginning, Carrie, you you missed almost six hours of crochet. I ain't lying. Now, tatting is something I've never done. I've cross-stitched. I've embroidered. <clears throat> um, but the cross-stitching part with me, I don't like doing the printed cross-stitch. I like doing the counted cross-stitch where you have to look at a pattern and count and figure it out and all that other kind of stuff. Yeah, Carrie, I can't get into tatting. Now, OVW, the one that was in here earlier, she loves it. She does tatting. <clears throat> yeah, she does tatting, but I, I just can't get into it. Yeah, I ain't about that thread line. No, the closest I'm going to get to that would be back doing cross stitch and stuff again. My husband said something to me the other day about that. So you don't cross stitch no more, but you got all that darn stuff for cross stitching. I, I, used to still all, I still got all my cross stitch supplies. It's like macrame. I still got tubes of Ada cloth that I bought in the tube. They come in, was coming in a tube and stuff. My focus is to use what I already have. All the supplies that I got. Mm -hmm. Use all that. And I probably won't ever use all of it, but that's my goal. I got all these little different animal buttons. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But they're cute. I might start putting them in little giveaways. Just randomly pick some. Make some earrings out of. You know what? I probably could. I was going to use them on kids stuff, but they come apart too easy. Which they, they wouldn't come apart though when, once they're sewn on. But I have butterflies in different colors. Little dogs. Little bears, little kitty kitties, even horses. See, look at that little dog. Ain't that cute? <clears throat> I got Paw Patrol too much. I don't want to look at no more dogs. I have fish, little sea, sea fishes. Mama J said her phone died. Uh oh. Time to go to bed. Can I pet that dog right, right now. now? Can I pet that dog right now? I even got one that looks like a thimble. If I can pick it up. They so little. And my hands are so, fingers are so big. Look at that cute. I even got one with a heart and I got the key to it too. I could put that on something and send it to one of y'all and tell you I only hold the key. Oh, that's cute. And I got a bunch of these little heart ones. I got this, these at a flea market. But they came in different colors. And they got like a stitch on them. But they're little like hearts. Mm -hmm, that's cute. I even got a needle. Well, I had a needle. I just dropped it.
Thank you. Count. I got a ladybug. I don't even know where I got these. I think all these came from a either a thrift store or flea market. One of the two. I've yet to go to the flea market and I mean to the Goodwill in Montgomery. You I was tempted. Where you went. I was tempted to ask my husband to go over there when we went over there Friday. But uh, he was gracious enough to let me go to Joanne, so I didn't push it. <laughs> well, I know that's right. I told him, I said, I'm not going in there for yarn. I'm going in there to get me a pair of pink and cheers because they had some on sale for $18. And that's cheap for pink and cheers because the ones I paid for at Walmart was 30 some dollars. And I need to find them because I'm not going to be able to use them too much. Because the ones I had were made like this. The spring loaded. I like them. And, it's, and see, that's the whole point of it. It's a palm. You use your palm to cut with and not your thumb. And see, with my thumb having that trigger finger, I won't be able to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I told my husband the other day, I'm just falling apart piece by piece. And see, there these, these what, you what, have to put your what thumb. What your mom and daddy say, keep living, baby, keep living. Exactly. Just keep on living. I mean, these are Singer, too. And these are Fiskers. They're called Easy Action. Miss Vicky said, that's my dog's name, Ladybug. I've been trying oh. to think of things for them three kittens. And one of them, I don't know where she's at, unless the other cat took her over there with hers. I hadn't seen them yet. Huh. I have four kittens, three girls and one boy. And Ooh. one of them is missing. And she had a white tip on her tail. You think something ate it up? No. I think the other cat that had kittens around the same time, I think she took her over there to where she had her kittens at. Oh, okay. And one of them looks just like my male cat. I can't call him. I named him Tigger. I can't call him Tigger. And two of them are black. Oh, thank you, Carrie. I'm going to stay on here 10 more till 12, and then I'm gone, y'all. Say, Andrea, stay. We like you. Yes, and if you don't make the one I did, create your own and share with all of us, Carrie. I put my stitch markers on here that Miss Diane Sharp sent me. Hey, I could put them on my, I could put them on this. Elizabeth wants this one though. Who are you going to make another one? Elizabeth. Oh, oh, Mama Maria. Oh, no. Neuropathy sure don't help your hands, Miss Vicky. No, it does not. <laughs> not at all. I need to watch me some bored enough to make me go to sleep like the Cosby show. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> Outer Banks is a good show to watch. Oh, you told me to. I got to look that up. On Netflix. And also, Keep Breathing is another good one to watch. Oh, Lord. 
Um, Outer Banks has three seasons on it. Keep and when going. I started watching it, Keep I just, no, and this always counts on no, no. me. For sure. For sure. That's what friends are for. For good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. All right, that's enough for you to flag me. <laughs> that's my song to you, Jeannie. It's baby time. My brother found three babies at his house last week and his cat is fixed. What? Hmm. Mama J, I, I, them things going to have to go down before I buy another one. What, the silver? The Centros. Them Centros, baby. Hmm. Maybe something happened to their mama, Karen, and they thought maybe she was a surrogate or something. Because my, my cat that disappeared, she was a surrogate to her grandchildren. Because <laughs> that was her um, first litter, and usually they don't take care of their first litter or they'll eat them. Mm. And, um... She ended up, I ended up putting an Integra as the last one that, that survived. And I ended up putting him with Nala. She had had kittens around the same time. I had like 19 cats around here at one time. I don't want that no more. I don't know that right, but they keep, they keep stuff from coming around. Oh, yeah, and they kill snakes, too. They didn't kill two, three. They didn't kill three snakes. But my neighbor called me today and said, how many cats you got over there? I said, well, I had four. Now I only got three. But I think the other one may have went off with Snickers, the one I call Snickers. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen her. And he said, what they look like? I said, oh, three of them belong to your cat. And one of them look like Tigger. I said, cat support. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? He said, bye, Jeannie. <laughs> Carrie said, three mean rescue dogs prevent kittens. I wish we could have a cat or five. I got hooked on Fringe from 2008. I watched first season. But I think I had watched it before when it was Fox Network back in 2008. I think they were dumped like ones we have. There are seven now. I feed them. These, the mama has weaned them. Because they do have little teeth. But I feed my cats Perina hard food. And um, they're not quite ready to eat the hard food. Because they're still trying to suck and lick, you know, do a lot more licking and sucking instead of chewing. So I bring the hard food in and soak it in some hot water. And get it real soft and then I mash it up. They eat that pretty good, but when I went to um, Dave's Market yesterday, he had some of the little canned foods, and I got some of them in the pate blend, which is mushy, and I started feeding them that, but I have to sit out there with them to make sure that their darn mama don't eat it all up. Mm -hmm. think they were dumb. Yep, yeah. so... 
and I had to ward her off with a stick because that heifer ain't scared of nothing. She was hissing at me today. Mm. Not hissing, but yeah, hissing and growling. I said, heifer, you better realize who feeds you. I'm telling you, she's tripping. You'll be out there catching rats. <laughs> Trying to eat them. Hmm. Yeah, out there hissing and growling at me and even tried to scratch me. She slapped at me. I'm, I'm, I'm all right now. I ain't hit you with this stick yet. Because <laughs> if I don't do that, they won't eat. And she's not letting them suck no more. So they, I mean, they got to eat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And the mosquitoes are tearing me up sitting out there, so. I didn't even have cats after my Garfield got killed. Mm. I gave up on animals. Well, I got Luna. And then after Luna died, I stopped. I said, I ain't getting no more house animals. None outside, none in the house. And look at you now. Got one outside and one in the house. <laughs> and Sandy is just full rotten to death. By you and your husband. Exactly. He said something the other day. And Sandy did something. He said, well, I be. This dog do know what you be saying. I said, I told you she knows what you say. Me and her have conversations all the time when you're gone. But, you know, if you if you by yourself, a companion is good, you know, even if it is in a dog mm -hmm. or a cat. And I ain't gonna mm -hmm. lie, I'd rather, I would have rather had a cat than a dog. But um, I love cats. Well, I love all animals, though. I ain't tell no story. I know one thing. I came home one day. This was during the broad daylight. And a coon, this was on a Sunday. Lawrence seen it when he left out. And when I went out, went to town and come back, it was crossing the road down there in front of my neighbor and them's house. Mm -hmm. And that coon, it was during the daytime now. Mm -hmm. Coons are normally nocturnal. They sleep during the day and they prowl at night and scavenge for food and stuff. Mm -hmm. He, This coon barely could get across the road. He'd mm -hmm. take a few steps and just follow. And he was so poor. He actually looked like one of them rabid coons. One of the, what they call the, um, um, what that show to come on the zombies? He looked like a zombie coon. Mm. And when I stopped, that son gun turned around, looked at me like, "You better not get out of that car." <laughs> Good night, Mama J. Love you too. Um, and if I'd have had my pistol, I would have, I would have shot him. Because he was either infected with something or he had been ran over and his back end had been messed up. And he was so poor. I would have took him out of his measure because that's I'm, I can't stand to see, see no animal suffer now. Mm-hmm. And at one point, I was feeding coons and possums and armadillos and whatever, rabbits and everything else that would come up there and eat the cat food. Now, I was feeding the stray cats before I even had my cats. Mm -hmm. Karen, that's an ma electrical machine that you can turn your centros into electric. Look at Karen's thumbnail. It's a little doggy. 
And Chastity and them get so sick at Bella every time I go down there. Bella acts a fool. Mm -hmm. Just whining and doing a little bark and everything because she loved me. And she know I'm her grandma. <laughs> Good night, Carrie. All right, y'all. It's 12.02. I'm two minutes past. Thank y'all for hanging. It's still 18. Good night, Bestie. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. And Sandrine just done jumped down and left me. See, my, my face is getting black. Time for me to go to bed. <laughs> it's time for me to go wash my face and go to bed. I will see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank y'all for hanging. And until next time, love you all. Bye-bye.